has now officially begun and it always begins just as I pinch my nose <laughs> it's kind of like a, a relief valve or words to that effect anyway how are we all doing what a week what a week I still it's all been tippity tappity tippity tappity this week with typewriters I don't know about you lot but I kind of try and pride myself on being a bit of a, a touch typist or even a speed typist as they used to call it back in the day when I was doing my Pittman's course. Uh, that's a long, long time ago. But anyway, what do you think of this new uh, typewriter that's come out? Lego Ideas from a Steve McGuinness. It's pretty good, isn't it? I like it. I love the coloration on it as well. But I tell you what I do love as well. And the fact is that it's Friday, the weekend's begun, and you lovely lot are all here as well. And I've got some peeps out there in the green room that are jumping at a bit to come in as well, folks. Can't wait to get them in. I've got someone new. In fact, it was only about, I don't know, hour and a half ago. I didn't even know that she was going to be coming on. But anyway, she's here tonight. It's someone who I've been asking on for weeks and weeks, if not months. And we just keep missing each other. We really do. But anyway, thank you so much, all you lovely peeps out there for the countdown. Hope you're all well. It's blooming baking here in London tonight. So hence, I've got the door open. I want to know how you're all doing. How are you all coping and stuff like that? Hope you're all well. I love you loads. Great to have you here. It is Friday. Uh, and let's get some comments on. And I'll tell you what we do as well, folks. You know what? If you've got any pictures of anything you've done this week, send it to me on Instagram, please. Because what I'll do is I'll show it off a little bit later in the show. It's as easy as that, folks. It really is. Uh, IM me or instant message me, as some people might call it, uh, or DM me even. Some uh, People call it all different things, don't they? But anyway, just send me a message on Instagram. Easy as that, with a picture on it as well, of uh, of any Lego sets that you've built this week, which would be very cool. But anyway, the most important thing uh, is, is not me. So it's never me, folks. It really isn't. Uh, it's not the peeps on the panel, although I do love them to bits. I really, really do. It's all you lovely lot out there. The likes of Fab Blondie's Bricks. Hello, you. We've got Monarch out there. Uh, we've got Lego Madness as well. Thank Thank you, dude, for the countdown. Same for you, Captain Zane, as well. Thank you, Simon. You too, mate. Um, who else we got out there as well? We've got Omega Man. Hello, mate. Good to see you. Uh, we've got Trevor Baker. Hello, Trevor. Fooling with bricks. I've been watching him on Instagram this week, folks. It's been good fun. Monarch, he's already given uh, two big quids as well. That is crazy, dude. I'll be popping you up here a little bit later. So if anyone wants to give me a super chat, folks, it's really easy. All I'll do, I'll put your name on there. And maybe sometime over the weekend, because I've missed out the last couple of weeks, I'll throw it out on um, on Instagram, give you all a shout out. So if you do give me a super chat tonight, I really do appreciate it, folks. It all goes back into the channel. And what I'll be doing is, yeah, just saying thank you. I really appreciate it. But in the meantime, folks. In all honesty, I just appreciate all your lovely amount of time that you spend with me. Finn O'Sullivan is out there as well. Tommy Rich. Hello, Tommy. Good to see you, mate. I've seen you in loads of streams this week. Nicoletta. Nicoletta. Where would a stream be without Nicoletta? Great to have you here. Anyway, that is it, folks. Uh, throw loads of questions at us. Throw loads of pictures at us. Uh, and if you fancy it, <laughs> throw loads of super chats at us. But like I said, folks, it's just great to have you here on Friday evening, beckoning, welcoming the weekend as well it's as easy as that it really is folks and just so you know tomorrow 3 p.m uk time 10 a.m est usa time i'm gonna start building that anyway a load of us are gonna be streaming tomorrow folks we're gonna be talking about all sorts of things we've got flx out there we've got tech productions he's gonna be in in just a tick folks pink wheels free great to see you here it really is now just checking something uh instant messaging apparently that's a bit of a throwback the instant messaging those were the days folks i've been there i've done it and i've certainly Bought, bought the shirt. I really have. Now, someone else who's bought a shirt, very similar to mine, is a guy who, how can I put it? 
I highly recommend him because he does City updates like you wouldn't believe. Trevor Baker. Trevor Baker. Thank you so much. Super sticker. I really appreciate that, my friend. I really do, Trevor Baker. That is very nice of you, mate. I don't get many uh, super stickers, so thank you for that. So this guy, folks, if you was to look at us quickly, uh, you think we were stunt doubles. I don't know what I mean when I get him in. Uh, he wears a pretty decent pair of, pair of glasses. He's got a pretty decent T-shirt on as well. It's a bit similar to mine. I might even have to change later, folks, because I'll be looking at the uh, panel because I'm always moving around. I might get mixed up with who's who. These things do happen, folks. We are live. Anything can happen in the next three or so hours. Anyway, let's bring him in, shall we? This is the guy uh, who, like I say, folks, he's got a brilliant seat. Do check out his channel. It is, of course, Mr. Jav Bricks. Hello, mate. Hello, hello. How you doing? Look at this, look. Oh, yeah, right, it's like we'll be separated at birth. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I like stuff. to mention that you have got a few more years on than me. Oh, do you reckon? Just do you reckon? <laughs> Just a few, do you reckon? <laughs> I like to believe so. Put it this way, folks. By the end of this stream, we'll see who's sweating the most. And the the older you are, the more apparently the more you sweat. I don't know if that's true. Is that true, John? Apparently, it's okay. I've, got, I've got this. Ah, uh... oh, see, he's cheating. He's cheating. He's got, that's his biggest fan of his channel. That is, folks. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing, John? I'm very well, thanks, Greg. Good man. So, you're a man of the city. Uh, where would you like to go next? We can go. Over the over the pond to Canada, or we can stick in Blighty. What would you like to do? Um, well, we've done one here. Let's go over the pond. We, we certainly have, my friend. Uh, we certainly have. Uh, okay, let's go over the pond. Oh, see, well, this is like a two in one. This is like uh, two birds, one stone. This one, folks. They, these these guys are brilliant. I love them to bits. Um, one of them is a. I was going to say. I almost said ventriloquist then, uh, but I've been doing him a disservice. He is a, a linguistic uh, professor. And the other one is an artist from beyond the stars. She's amazing. She really is, folks. And she is absolutely full of beans all the time. She is the lovely Brenda, a.k.a. Art Ingest, and I'm Bored Toys. Hello. Hello. From beyond the stars. Oh, to him, no. To you. Kevin, you really would be on this. Kevin would never. Kevin, I'd be like, Kevin, we, get on the spate. And I Kevin barely like, leave the house. Absolutely not. Absolutely these, not. It these are gorgeous. Or humid. He'll refuse. Hi, friends. I don't think Hi, you everybody. Two, you two are amazing. Honestly, you really are. It's, oh, it's, back at you, buddy. It's just me. It's yeah. not. It isn't. It's 100% a team dynamic. I am your emotional support extrovert, and you know it. Oh, I forgot oh. to put our light on. Do we look okay? How's our, how's our lighting? You look fine. You look amazing. Right. Um, Sun's still now, yes. I have to say, it's very rare that I don't see you holding a piece of structure Lego in your hands these days to do your roller coasting. Uh, is your life literally up and down? Me? Yeah. You're an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. That's not true. You're very it's true. And all around. Sometimes <laughs> I do loops. Just around and around yeah. and around. Oh, yeah. Uh, brick stage pass. Very good point. Hello. Headphones out. Volume down, friends. No headphones, headphones for no Kevin and Brenda. We about to get noisy. Don't do it. Don't do it. No nap time. No background noise. Rap detention. Yeah, yeah, we're, right we're done. We're done. We're done. If you want to have a snooze, I keep thinking I've got a mirror, uh, mirror thing on here. Uh, if you guys want to have a snooze, then don't listen to this. This is not one of those. If you want to snooze, folks, do listen to one of those jazz, jazz cafe YouTube channels or something like that. Um, anyway. Guys, where would you like to go? Would you like to go to Europe or would you like to go to Blighty? I mean, I kind of got to say Europe. No offense. <laughs> I want to go to Europe, given the option. I don't care. Kevin doesn't care. <laughs> I say Europe. <laughs> no, we're going to go to Europe. Okay, yeah, cool. Good man. And good lady as well, I should say. <laughs> um, John, keep your eye on the private chat. And okay, so we're going to go to a place. Well, how can I describe this place, folks? This place is a strange place. It really is. It's full of strange things and strange beings. Uh, that how can I put it? This guy, up until today, he, he, he wasn't any use to anybody. Uh, poor old Larry, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But anyway, let's bring him on. He's he's full of it now, folks. He's full of bubbles, full of beans, and uh, he is, of course, the wonderful, the talented, the beautiful. I wonder if he's shaved. Sly O'Connor. Oh. I'm awake. I'm awake. I swear. Hi. <laughs> no, I didn't shave. You didn't and shave. 
no, she, okay, so I got the first vaccination on Monday, and I had a panic attack in the place, lads. I swear to God. And the nurse was like, it's fine. And I was like, it's not. And I had the sweats, and everyone thought I was having a reaction. I was like, no, it's a panic attack. So I ended up going sitting outside for 15 minutes with the sweats and pale face, went home, slept. Tuesday slept, Wednesday slept, Thursday slept. Today is the first day of energy. And if you saw me the past few days, I was like a slug under a piece of cabbage. Not cabbage face. I wouldn't get under him. A but you know where. Oh my God. I tell you what, uh, everyone loves a bit of old cabbage. Uh, oh, yeah. cabbage. Um, they really do. A slug under cabbage. What a way to describe what? yourself. Oh, blimey, the sun's out, folks. I'm, 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 <laughs> it's, uh, it's beautiful here in. in um, well, if anyone's watched my vlogs recently, you'll know that the weather's very up and down in the UK at the moment. Anyway, Mr. Sy O'Connor, where would you like to go next? Where are the choices? It is United Kingdom, United Woo. Kingdom, Woo. United Kingdom. Woo. Let's go to Glasgow. Let's go to Glasgow. With no one in Glasgow. Okay. What? No, Let's go to that's actually, no one, no one away. Scotland. <laughs> it's the usual choice of M25. Okay, let's go north of the M25. North of the M25. We're actually, well, we're getting northeast of the M25. Uh, this guy, the M25 uh, this guy, folks, I would normally say comes from Reading, but apparently he doesn't live in Reading. He lives in Oxford um, because it's a thing. Uh, and I think I, I do tend to believe him. But here we go. We're going to make a thing of it. We really are. And we've been doing lots of things together over the course of the last few weeks. We really have of which please do watch his YouTube videos from this week and the ones coming up next week. He's, of course, my friend Thomas, a.k.a. Tech Productions. Hello, mate. Hello. Another Hi, week Derek. goes by. Hey, hello, hello. Another week goes by and Greg still can't tell his east from west. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Ox Oxford is slightly to the left, uh, so I I'm going to go next. It's depends which way you're looking. Yeah. It, is, it really is. It's south of Jarve, because Jarve, where are you? are you? You're a Liverpool man, aren't you? North, north Wales, near the near Liverpool. North Wales. But you are a Liverpool fan, aren't you? I am a Liverpool fan, yeah. All right, we yeah. won't talk about the Premiership uh, this year. And, uh, we can we'll talk about there. last year's, though. <laughs> last year's? No, we don't want to talk about this year's. It's a brilliant season for the Amers. It really was. Um, Tech's actually a Reading fan, but we won't hold that against him. Um, he's a, he's a good lad. Um, anyway, Thomas, are you, Thomas, where would you like to go next? Would you like to go? We've well, only got one more location we can go. Actually, it's just well, down the road from you. Is that all right? Yeah, I got all right. No, why don't we just keep it us for now? Why don't we just don't bother? <laughs> we can't go to more people. We've got two more people coming in, folks. We really have. Uh, Katz right. saying, "No, you won't know tech." Minark saying, "Reading." Apparently, Minark says, "Reading is amazing." He's uh, not Thomas wrong. He is not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not. Well, we'll talk about reading a little bit later. That is, of course, reading, folks. If anyone from America is just tuned in, it's not reading, uh, in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, Matthew Bilds-Briggs. Hello, Matthew Bilds-Briggs. Great to have you here, dude. All right, so let's go to the man with the van. Uh, he loves a... He, I, I say he loves one thing in life, folks. It's Lego, it's Kobe, and it's traffic jams, if his Instagram account is anything to be taken by. It is, of course, solo. Blick. Builder, how do you think I managed to stay so calm? <laughs> so you keep saying every, every every stream you're on these days, you always say that you're quite calm. Yeah, I'm calm, yeah, relaxed. That is the most ch most chill I've ever seen him. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'd have to be chilled wearing no socks, to be honest. Bloody uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even wearing socks at the moment. I'm taking a leaf out of text uh, book. I really am. Uh, but you're looking well, mate. You're looking well. How's it going? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good. All good. Yeah, it's uh, been, been a beautiful day, so can't complain too much. I've got a lovely driver's tan coming on, so half tan, quite literally. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Solo say he's not going to complain? No. Nah. I don't think I said complain. I never said complain. I'm just not going to get angry. <laughs> oh, he's not going to get angry. Okay, that's oh. interesting. Well, we can work on that, folks. Um, start throwing a few quotes into the chat, and uh, we'll, we'll see where we go with it all. We'll talk about what. What's your favourite Star Wars movie? It's the, it's the, the Last it's, Jedi. The, the Last Jedi. Talk about the, like, yeah, Last Jedi. Man. It's got moments. It's got moments. Okay. All right, good stuff. Well, anyway, we've got there's no, loads of new TV shows out this week. Loki being one of them. Not seen it, but it gets good reviews. I'm hearing good stuff about it. Um, Sai, 
<laughs> well, have you seen it solo? Yeah, we watched it last night. It is good. Okay. And so, sorry, you must have seen it, surely. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant. So it was really good. I, apparently, it's it's doing really well. It's the best debut Disney thing ever, which is great. Um, it's awesome, like, yeah. All right, good stuff. All right, well, I think we need to go up a notch. I think we need to get someone new on. Um, oh. Now, I don't actually know where this uh, where this la lady dwells. I believe it's Wales, if memory serves me correct. So I only could, I'm only thinking because I saw a Welsh flag up uh, in a city once. Uh, so, Jav. We're going to be talking lots of city stuff tonight. We really are, uh, which is exciting because um, well, I'm going to be rebooting mine soon. Uh, don't say anything, Tech. And, uh, and we've got Joel. Have studs. All travel is out there as well. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Great to have you here. Anyway, let's bring her on, folks. This, how can I describe this person? I would describe her in four words. She is Miss Bricks. <laughs> or fun. Cheater. Hey, how are you doing? Hello. Welcome to Doing the well, thanks. Oh, good stuff. Great to have you. Anyway, let's pop you in the middle because you're the newbie. So, um, so Lee, uh, you, um, uh, where, well, first of all, whereabouts do you live? You, am I right in saying Wales? Yeah, uh, about 10 minutes out of Cardiff. Out of Cardiff. Fantastic. Now, anybody wants to know, that's slightly west of England. It is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm accurate there, Tech. To uh, the left. Well, to the well, left. Well, well, <laughs> he's got a globe in front of him, Tech. Can't give him too much credit. Got a globe in front of me. He makes me sound like I'm some sort of sorcerer or something. Like that. <laughs> I'm like something out of Masters of the Universe. Um, we're, we're actually, talking about Masters of the Universe, did anyone used to watch that? Because I, I can imagine Brenda being a bit of a She-Ra fan. Are you kidding me? I love Skeletor. Never mind <laughs> Shira and her tiny little hot pants. Yeah, seen Skeletor's <laughs> outfit's incredible. Amazing. He rocked a terrifying unitard like nobody else. He was rocking <laughs> all the way. Bone, wasn't he? Wasn't he really? Uh, you know, he was like, a, he, he had a good, yeah, I said bone. That's why I said, I said bone. Um, he, he was like, he had, um, I can actually, he had a good giggle on him. I liked his giggle. He's quite cute in that respect. Uh, delicious foods. Thank you so much. Delicious foods. There's London calling fan. And I'm bored fan. I am absolutely smitten. There we go. We have I a mutual foods. How are you doing? Great. Anyway, delicious food. Thank you so much. Lego Madness. Great to see you here as well, my friend. It really is. And um, we've got Bricks with Justin in the house as well. So, uh, Solo, before you fall asleep on us, um, how's, how's your week been in with Lego news? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been trying to keep up to date. <laughs> trying. Uh, there's some interesting things coming out, though. I am interested in that typewriter, though. That looks pretty sweet. I, I'm down for that. Sounds very expensive, though. The, the TIE Fighter. Typewriter. The typewriter. Yeah, I mean. the typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to move Jarv because I keep looking at Jarv thinking I've got a new pair of glasses. Uh, and I have to pick up a new pair of glasses tomorrow, folks. I keep thinking I've already put them on. You were uh, thinking, wow, I look young. I was like, thinking, blimey, I, I, need to, I, need to, I need to moisturize. I've had a hard week this week. And, uh, look, anyway, look, just look at this, folks. Look, look at him, look. It's like it's like it's like the opening sequence to The Simpsons. <laughs> anyway, great to have you here, mate. Uh, the city is looking very slick. What was that you got in front of you there on the right? It looks like a giant clock. I'm, I'm dismantling my gardens, um, city gardens thing. The city gardens thing. Oh. I like that. Uh, it was in Jago City Gardens, but I'm, I don't like it, so I'm dismantling it. You don't like it? Ooh, Ooh, shot fire. Controversial. Controversial. I've heard Wait. no one likes that, sir. Still Less than 20 minutes in, we're already gone, you know, all, I'm already banned from land. Banned for once. Banned from land. <laughs> anyway, uh, Miss Tricks are fun. I think you've built that set, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. Uh, what did you think of it? Um, I, I did enjoy building it, but there's a lot of fiddly pieces. So I am literally just going to leave it. I'm not dismantling it or anything because if I touch it, it will just fall apart. Yeah. <laughs> so I know. Bit it this week, you touch him, he was falling apart. So he was. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, look. He's so cute. He's so cute. I just want to give it, I just want to squeeze his cheeks. I really do. He needs a bobbly head, doesn't he? <laughs> He's, got, he, he's a walking Funko Pop. That's what he is. I just want to point out, I haven't been able to bring myself to dismantle this. 
Oh, oh I love that. Too. My UCSI. I'm glad you said this, Kevin. The UCSI. The UCSI. It's, 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 uh, it sits right here. Uh, always <laughs> well, make me laugh, I look at it. it was is it a gift with purchase or is it a 70 pound set? What was that? Sorry, Brenda was talking. She talks a lot and constantly, I can't hear. Constantly. Obviously. Is that a 70 pound set or gift with purchase? Uh, it's for $80 on Rubricable. <laughs> <laughs> It's a combination of four different sets. <laughs> you, you sold you know, it to me. Roller coaster. You got. You got. You, you are like Mr. Roller Coaster. Uh, you know the fun never ends. He's like. He, I, I look at him. I look at this linguistic professor over here, and I think to myself, the amusement never ends. I'm it going for some new. I'm going for some new shapes and stuff. I know. You know? I know. And some wicked connections. You got that figured out, bud. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be way out. better. Brenda, yeah, your they hair. don't really do very much with them. No. Brenda, I love your hair tonight. You have to always keep it like that when you come on. Um, but you it has to be novel. It has to be novel. I can't Brenda, do it all the time. You can do anything you want. Okay. What, what's, but Brenda, out of curiosity, what, what are you building tonight? So I can see you doing things with your fingers. I made a bunny. <laughs> Kevin, so Kevin really thought this through because he knew we were going to be on stream. So I'm surrounded <laughs> with poly bags right now. There's literally Ooh, 10 poly there's bags. There's 10 poly it. bags Just, beside me. Oh this God, is take like, this, me. this is like the hands off version of, I don't know if you've ever seen Kevin like hand me a mini fig during a stream. To, it's, it's, just, shut her up. it's to distract me yeah. often. Yeah. <laughs> so he'll just hand them over like on a regular basis. And the, the equivalent so that he can build his roller coaster is putting like 13 of these in my. My wife it's and I used to do that with our kids. Yeah, yeah, it's like like it's like handing a kid a rattler. Is it, there you exactly go. the same. Rattler. We're jingling your keys. Rattler. You ever oh. jingled your keys at like a baby or a or a cat or something? Same, yeah. same, same. Let's go back to the nineteen forties with Tony O'Connor. Just hand that baby a rattler. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's how old I am. I I born in nineteen forty-one. Nineteen forty-one. Look at him. Look, he's, he's, he's beautiful. Beautiful, it really is amazing what 10 facelifts can do for you. Ah, oh, yeah. so, uh, wow, so anyway, what, what have you got? You, you don't get me wrong, Lee, you look like you're waiting for someone like a waiter to come along and dish you up a meal or something like that. What's the what, what, what have you built this week? Uh, I've been doing a lot on the city. Um, I've finished building the castle set as well. Oh, yeah, uh, that was the create three in one. <laughs> Um, oh I'm just having a break. You having a break? Yeah. Have a break. Have a, break. Oh, yes. a breakdown. <laughs> a breakdown. Yeah. Um, like you want to have a breakdown? That's him. Um, <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> oh, look, what are you changing your angle again? What, what, how many angles are you going for in one stream? I'll let you count throughout the stream. All right, I'm All up right. to four so far because you was up to four. Believe me, All right. <laughs> he kept moving in the pink room, in the pink room, in the green room. Uh, he really was. Tech, what are you up to at the moment? Or then we ask. Uh, you probably better not to ask. It's still got his camera off. Might be some weird uh, yeah. Silence. I, I honestly find it a little bit disrespectful that Tech would show up with this many viewers and not put his camera on. All of these yeah. people cry you know, for Tech in the chat. And he shows up to mockumentary late every single week. Oh, he, 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 we noticed. Yeah. He'll be on. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we meet up, Right, who, who do you reckon always gets there first? Tech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wish my entourage get there before he does. So that's I, I know it's that, Greg. I know it's that. <laughs> They're paid to be there, though, Greg. Oh, here we go. So who said that? Was that Tech? Is Tech got a rough voice tonight? Is he? Is he lost his voice or something? He says it gravelly. He sounds like I do at five o'clock in the morning. A hip uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, what, should we, what we got here? We got, we, we got Brickland saying, "Should I watch the live stream or go?" See how much of Greg's shed he's Watch done. the live stream. The video will be there later. Don't worry about That's it. it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't have said it any better myself, Si, in all honesty. <laughs> I really couldn't. Now, I've got to be careful tonight, folks, because I've got a load of chocolate I need to eat, uh, and I've got to eat it before it melts. Otherwise, I get chocolate fingers, and no one likes those, do they? Especially when you've got your mouth and your mic all over it. It's a nightmare. It really oh. is. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we've got roller coasters. We've got cities. Uh, we've got we, we've got something going on here, but no one quite knows what. Uh, and um, we, we got we got someone playing around with different camera angles, showing off and flexing loads of tanks. Uh, so tell us about these tanks, these pictures that you've been putting on Instagram, Solo. 
Oh, my tank collection. My little tank collection is getting bigger, man. It's getting bigger. All my Kobe tanks. Yeah, man. Loving them. Loving them. I've, got, I've only got 10 more to build, and they're bringing that bloody five more. I can't keep up, man. I've lost count. I'm done. Right. Well, that's, that's good. Well, what, what do you call, like, someone who collects tanks? Probably a lunatic, General. probably. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> General. Yeah, I like that. A tanker. A tanker, yeah. Hey. Oh, tanker. Like, yeah. Did it, hold on a minute. Did we, did we, was, there, was there life there? Did we just... Was this what's going on? No, no, it's not going. He's okay. picking his someone, shirt. You got to give him a break, Greg. He's picking his shirt. You know, someone, <laughs> someone's mic keeps purring. Is that yours, Solo? Mine purring. Is it? Oh, he is. Yeah. Every time he says something, it goes, it goes like that. Oh, uh, it's my little putty cat. Oh, oh hold on, so, Solo. Are you using OBS by any chance? Uh, no, I was going to, but I'm not not now. No. Oh, because you're you're slightly out of sync, and that's probably why your mic's making its funny noise. It's out of sync. Yeah, because I know what you're saying before you say it, and that's saying something. <laughs> yes, Carlo. We know what to say before you say it. He's, he's, he's like watching monkey. He's like watching the Monkey Kid cartoon. It's badly dubbed. Oh, uh, monkey, monkey from the eighties. I heard. Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Monkey no, I'll, I'll, reset, I'll reset a few things. Yeah. Uh, I'll drop out, reset, and see if it works. All right, okay. for it later. Monkey Kid has excellent actors. They <laughs> no, the hired monkey, the actors for an avatar and so on. Guys, you're hitting Kevin where he lives. He's all frazzled now. He's throwing pieces. It's true. I can't I, escalate I can... him this early in the stream. What are you thinking? I don't know. I can still hear the bird. I, I think it's actually uh, Kevin's mic. <laughs> No, I turned it off. Oh, so Solos was um, Solos was with that sync code, which is weird. Uh, oh, here we go. Plastic architects in the house. Uh, Monkey Kid is the best. Monkey Kid is very Monkey good. Monkey Kid. Oh, uh, oh sorry. Did, did he say something then? Did, no, I didn't quite catch that. He did. He did. <laughs> he wants to. He's, he's, all we got to say is Monkey Kid. He, like, he comes alive. Monkey yeah. Kid. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> good tech. Yeah. Oh, I you, that's why I can't do that. I tell you, the things that you can do on StreamYards that you can't do in there we go uh, in YouTube. It's, it's funny old world. So um, I, I, I feel like uh, I, I feel like I want to give you a menu or something like that. I feel I feel like uh, would you like a if you if you was given a Lego menu this week, Lee? Uh, what would you be choosing from the menu uh, to consume? Yeah. I would be choosing first dibs on the Lego Forest Castle that's coming out, hopefully, Ooh. through Bricklink. Nice. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, and what would that be then? Tell us a little bit about this then, because this is something new I've not heard about. Yeah, it's, uh, well, actually, Butt Chop 2021 told me. I think Sai was in the stream Ooh. as well when he shared the screen. Um, obviously, uh, Bricklink have got, um, I think it's the Lego Ideas, they've got eight, eight sets that they're gonna release. Um, so they've got like um, a train station, an observatory tower, um, and this amazing forest castle. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, you can um, start pre-ordering on the 1st of July um, and the, the actual forest castle has to get to five thousand dollars before it gets produced. So that's the one I'm going to be throwing my money at. Uh, mm. But Chop did want side by twelve, apparently. Twelve, yeah. well, <laughs> But yeah, uh, hopefully that that hopefully that's um, that's going to become available. I put the link to that in the private chat, Greg, if you want to share it on the screen. Yeah, I think we should. It would be rude not to. Thanks, so. I'm just loading it up now. So no problem. Oh, okay. So it takes you to 2021 Invitational. Blimey, is, that, is it Invitational even a word, uh, Kevin? <laughs> invitational? Yeah. It is. Okay. Invitational is. That's is. like what you call like a, a tournament or a, like a a sports event where people are invited. That would be the root of the word, Greg. Oh, fantastic. Like, like the it. root of the word uh, Gregorius is Greg. Mm. I love it. I love it. Because uh, I am I am gregarious by nature. Gregarious, gregarious by name. That's, right. That's okay. I'll, I'll put it on the accent. Uh, I love it. I love it. Nothing like having a, 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 a linguistic. I need to get, you know what I need to get on here as well? A ventriloquist. 
I think that would be quite good fun. Having solo on a minute ago, that was like having a eventually quiz one, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at, um, let's share a screen, shall we, Si? And go over and take a look okay. at the designer program. So hopefully you lovely lot out there can see this. Uh, we've got ABC in the chat. We've got Jemay out there as well. Hello, Jemay. Great to see you. It really is. Um, let's have a little look through this thing, shall we? I'll have a little route around, as they say. Um, so what have we got going on here then, uh, Cy? Um, no, Lee was talking about it. Let Lee um, go through it. Come on then, Lee. You tell us all about yeah. it then. Uh, so if you just scroll down to the bottom, oh. you should be able to see the eight designs. Uh, yeah, so yeah. there we go. Here we go. Now, you lovely lot out there in the chat, tell me which ones you like as well. The great fishing boat. We like a fishing boat. We really do. Uh, the Lego Observatory Mountain View. That looks good, Lee. So, Lee, yeah. talk, talk, talk us through these ones and why you like them and perhaps why you don't like them. Um, I mean, to be completely honest, the only one that stands out to me personally is the castle. Mm -hmm. We obviously have the legend of the Bionicle as well. Um, okay. But yeah, that's the, the forest castle. That's the one that I'm most interested in. Yeah, that is nice. I like in that. Um, girls and boys out there in the chat, tell us which ones you love and you like. And uh, that looks good. I like that. I like the 1950s diner yeah. looks quite good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these are good. And there's aren't they? a train station there as well. That is a good train station. We'll, we'll take a deeper dive into these ones as well in a moment, folks. There's uh, the bowling alley, the retro bowling alley. That looks good as well. That, that's ASAP. Yeah. yeah, that is nice. I, I tell you what, Si, these have been around a long time because when I used to do the LBB news, uh, I was covering these every month when. Um, mm. In, back in the days when like you didn't get 50 going through per round uh which seems like a long time ago this is actually a very clever one the clock well uh, the clock working even. Yeah. yeah that's a very nice uh, look at that the lego store modular version that's yeah, pretty I like that. we all like that this yeah, is nice as well. the winter chalet love a bit it of that. does look good yeah oh my god look and an odd thing I could just about get me tongue around that. Uh, I think that one, when Solo comes back on again, folks, I think that's one of his favourite ones. Though. He's in the green room. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, just bring him in. Sorry, I'm looking at here. Let's bring him in. <laughs> Welcome back to the party, Solo. Hello. Hopefully that's better. Uh, cheers, buddy. Um, okay, so let's, let's drill down into a couple of these, shall we? Food with bricks. It's being a castle, man, uh, with the forestman, Jester, as a logo. You know what I want. Well, you certainly do, mate. Well, I tell you what we do. Seeing as Lee loves it, and I certainly do, uh, and fooling with bricks likes it. Let's take a little dive into it, shall we? Yeah. If the link works, here we go. So, yeah. Lee, what, 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 why, why do you like this so much? Why does it ooze lots of character for you? Yeah, and being as though I've just built the Lego Creator Three in One Castle as well, um, I could possibly put them together and m make it work. But it's I think it's got uh, 1,928 pieces and there's 515 unique pieces to this one. Yep, six minifigs. Yeah. And I like the little um, Robin Hood on the horse sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Oh, it's got a video as well. Should we have a look at the video? Yeah. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Uh, here we go, folks. <laughs> I'm hoping you guys can hear this. I'm going to show to you my prototype. Okay, so let's dive into it. This model has almost 2,000 parts. As I'm making this video, we don't know exactly what new figure parts are going to be available. So I've added a few mini figures of my own collection. And I hope to have some. Jav, I'll be interested to know what you think about some of these things as well. This model includes a raft. There are four animals, we have a horse, a green frog, a bird, and an owl. The castle is built in three parts. You can open both Love a good owl. And each part is inspired by one of the forest one sets. It's a out of curiosity. Has anyone ever created in the Lego world a castle grey skull? I think that'd be quite good. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you've seen one. 
We've got loads of swords. Need that. Oh, let's bring tech in as well. On the other side, there is to go to the next level. On the top of the castle, I've made this mechanism to lift up the door like this. That's cool. It's really good, isn't it? Mm. I like that. There's also a door over here. And the floor can be removed like this. But this is the view from the back. You open the castle wall. It's a lovely ray. There's a set door for unwanted visitors. Extra weapons. On the left is a big fireplace. You have a secret escape passage. Every castle you need a, a secret escape passage. Really do. Definitely. On the right side of the castle, you have a cave. You can open it up like this. Inside there is a bed and some furniture. There is also an oven inside. Wow. It just keeps opening up. Yeah. It's it's not, a yeah. And it's not even like a super huge, massive set as well. Do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it's got a lot going on there. You see the hinges. You see some ball hinges. Yeah, I was about to say those ball hinges, right? That's awesome, yeah. Did you make this video yourself, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you can do that for my I, th I, I tell you what, I'm going to have to do If I buy this yet, I'll do a review on it and see if I can take him on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, imagine that. That'd be a 24-hour stream, folks, as a review. <laughs> I'm going to post it. Everyone will be punished. <laughs> Everyone has me covered, yeah. I'll, I'll need lots of uh, jelly babies for that one. Anyway, so that's it. That's that one. Uh, let's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop back into there then. Uh, and let's uh, let's see what else is going on. Shall we? I like think it looks my city. Yeah, I think I've always liked this one, the pursuit of flight, because I tell you why. I've um, I've always fancied an X-wing versus Tie Fighter version yeah. of this. How about you, Solo? Yeah. No. He's on the boat. Hot no. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, no, it's, uh, my missus was on the blowing phone to me. She was just yappering on about something. Sorry, what, what, what did I miss? What, are, what were we talking about? Uh, the pursuit of flight. What do you think of this one? Are you, um, like, imagine this with an X Wing versus TIE Fighter style. Yeah, I think we briefly kind of talked about it on my live stream uh, when, when, when we were talking about it. It does look pretty bloody sweet. And yeah, X Wing versus TIE Fighter or Arc 170 versus Joy Fire. Yeah, man, you could do so much for that. It's great. It was a nice little set. I'm 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 amazed that they didn't make this one. I, I mean, even for like the little, like maybe like a little gift or purchase ones. You know the ones they've been doing lately. Mm. That would have been sweet. Yeah, it's got such potential. That one is. I hope this one does get through. Get enough backing for it. Come on, people, get your money out. Get by. Get, yeah. Get following how, about you, how about you, Jar? Are you interested in any of these? Um, I like the castle. Uh, the, the one we were just looking at, I thought that was pretty ace. And I'd like to have a castle in my city because I want to, um, I would like to put Conway Castle in there because uh, I proposed to my wife at the top of the tower on Conway Castle. And it's only, it's only about half an hour away from where I live. And if you Google it, it's an amazing, it's an amazing castle. And it's just loads of towers. Uh, so I, I think that one would fit really nice in there. Obviously, I have to mock it up as I always do. Yeah, put it in there. Uh, what's going on here between you two? Nothing. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, Nothing I just, is ruined. I'm I'm prototyping, so like it's gonna fall apart like thirty times every day. It just exploded, I'm... but like beautiful. It was it was glorious. <laughs> I'd like to point out it was not my fault. No, no, no. no. Just to say, you got someone in the green room, Greg. We got someone in the green room. Good stuff. Thank you. Um, Guava King as well. Uh, good to see you out there, my friend. Uh, anyway, let's begin. Let's uh, let's take that off just for uh, just for a moment, folks. I think we will. Anyway, let's so stop that just for a tick. We'll go back to normal, uh, and we'll bring someone else in. Uh, someone who was only streaming, roughly speaking, about an hour ago. Uh, anyway, everybody, be good. Uh, don't say anything you shouldn't say, and um, <laughs> be happy, everyone. Anyway, let's bring him on, folks. This is uh, I, I. I was watching his stream. Just before this one, I think Cy was in the stream as well. He was in the chat, chatting away like he does. And uh, it, it was getting, I was getting, I was I starting to well up, I was, folks. It was, it was getting quite heartfelt. It really was. I, I was, I could, I could sense it in his voice. Anyway, just bring him on. He's Flynn, and it is, of course, Tricky 
Bricks. Hello, mate. Hey, hey everybody. Hey. 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 Good to see y'all. Good to see you, dude. How you doing? Good, good. Yeah, I was actually streaming less than an hour ago, like like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Do you want a hot break? Piece of cold pizza, and then jump jump on in here. Nice. Breakfast Fantastic. with champions. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I, I see what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop Flynn there, and I'm going to come down here because we're going to have like, we're going to have the level where everyone who's wearing glasses is. Except I can't get Sky in here. So let's try <laughs> Flynn, you got the wrong color on. Put, put me down <laughs> blue. Yellow. I know. Sorry, I got. Hey, it is the it is Rainbow Challenge Day, so we've kind of got part of it here. We got yellow, red, or you know, sort of. Well, there's an orangey yellow. We can we can call it orange. And purple. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, it's, it's like a bit. Is it like a bit of orange Lego that's been out in the sun too long? That's what happens to it. <laughs> well, is no, it? actually, it's more that color of that Lego piece that's between bright yellow, yellow and orange. There's like it's called bright light oh, oh, oh. orange. That's infuriating to me. That is an infuriating color name. Oh, okay. So not only is it infuriating, but when you go to try, so we just did this huge color mosaic, like where we just were, it was like a Griebel mosaic where we're just putting like all pieces of the same color in sections. And the amount of times we were going to look for yellow pieces and we keep our, like we store our, bricks in like color families so you know like oh. yellow orange red are all together so that we can you know kind of go there oh man it was like we would we go oh look there's a yellow you know like there's a yellow plate and then we would bring it over to put it on and we're like wait a minute this is, it's, <laughs> it's an yeah it was uh it was very frustrating it was not the it was never the same one <laughs> there's a couple that are like that that are just a little too close yeah. Mm -hmm. So just out of curiosity, because we, we were talking with this with Chris a couple of weeks ago, when it comes to sorting bricks, do you do it by color or do you do it by type? Um, we do by brick type and then color. Um, and we don't have a big enough, um, we don't have a big enough space to be able to do um, uh, like all colors. So that's what I was saying. Like we sort of do color families and then we also sort of, just because of the space that we have, we also sort of um, uh, mix colors up that we know we use together a lot. So like my uh, like one by, you know, like one by X plates, like one by whatever plates, mm -hmm. we have them divided up into like earth tone colors because we use the like what we use those mostly for is for landscaping so you know for us it's great to have like black and gray and brown and dark brown and dark green and like those colors we would use in landscaping all together and then you know and then all the sort of more colorful uh brighter color ones in their own separate container sounds like you just make it up as you go along <laughs> <laughs> a little bit <laughs> it just depends on what it is and then of course there's like the specialty colors that get their own so like anything pink goes in its own bin i don't know it's a it's a very it's a very strange uh system that just sort of suits our style of building <laughs> so. is there like a chalice of coral do you have like a little, is there like a little gold dish or something, or like a punch bowl maybe? Yeah, there's a, there's a special coral area. It's not very mm -hmm. full yet. Um, and it's full of a lot of the same kind of pieces. Cause you know, there's not a lot of pieces in that particular color, but I have managed to get myself a nice big giant full, you know, shoebox size box full of bright pink, you know, the light pink oh. color. And uh, so that's a, that's a, a good one to have. The kind oh. of paradisus color palette is that what you mean? That pink? Oh no! So the one that's the more modern version of the paradiso okay. one, because the paradiso one's even just slightly lighter and is a little dustier. Yeah, you know, it's got kind of a little dustier cast to it than the. But yeah, just the regular, the regular pink. But Ooh, big right. fan Ooh. of the colors. So okay, so we're having all the colors. Uh, to tell us a little bit about this challenge. So is your is your challenge still going, Flynn, or is it? Yeah. So it's so we do our challenges. You know, like every two weeks on our show. So people have two weeks to build um, 
uh, whatever the challenge is for that week. So our viewers are used to that kind of a timeline. Mm -hmm. But since this is Pride Month, um, we kind of wanted to do something that was a little wider spread and a little longer to give lots of people opportunities to join in. Woo! So um, on our, our the Instagram version of the challenge is going on through the end of the month. So you can like, and it's just um, build something with a rainbow like whatever that means to you, like whatever, and, and posting it up. And it's a hashtag um, rainbow build challenge and also hashtag everyone is awesome. Referencing the set that this is all sort of in the spirit of kind of. So, cause that's a, it's a fantastic set. And so then today though, was the end of the two week version, which we did on our channel. And that was, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, just to build and everybody made incredible builds. Like there were so many, that was the most, Besides the Disney challenge, the Disney Habitats challenge, this was the most entries we've ever gotten for a challenge. We had like 54 people submit stuff and I had over a hundred photos. We had to like, wow. like, we didn't cut anybody's work entirely, but there were a few people that had multiple photos that we had to be like, I don't know how we were gonna make a hundred and something. Cause I already feel kind of like dad's slideshow, you know, like, and here's my kid <laughs> who's in third grade. And this is what he did for his class. And this is, this is my other, this is my 57 year old kid. And this is what he did for his class. Can you see that? Is it showing up for you? <laughs> Can everybody see that? Um, but yeah, there was um, just a lot of really beautiful, a lot of really beautiful work. And, and I, I also love it too, cause it's sort of in, encouraged people to really uh build in color which a lot of people uh you know they keep very i mean i know for us we keep very particular color uh sort of like color palettes in our work because mm -hmm. color is a big thing for us so um having that uh having to sort of just like put all of the all of them together in one is quite daunting i find but That's true. Yeah, oh, it, 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 it's really good. I think it's it's captured a lot of people's imaginations, uh, mm -hmm. and it's been nice to see something unfolding during, especially the last few days. It seems to have kind of rocketed uh, in popularity. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's getting really nice. around. I mean, I I you know I reached out to a bunch of other um, outlets that I'm familiar with and friends with, like Tips and Bricks. Mm -hmm. um, I know the Women's Brick Initiative and um several other uh outlets and there were uh several lugs who've participated that i don't even know if they've started posting their stuff yet hmm. this was all through the land i sort of reached out and was like hey we're doing this thing for pride month would you be interested in joining and i got a lot of really great positive response hmm. uh from people and um just really uh everybody's gone out i mean like mill lug just sent they we showed theirs today and it was like an entire city with a parade happening in it so they had like all their oh, modular yeah. buildings that they had all tricked out with flags and everything and then a parade was taking place through the town and it was really quite well Love done that. it's definitely something i'd like to do next year i've got an idea for next year that will work in the city and the only person i've shared this idea with is holly so i, I would love it if you did this sort of thing every year I think okay. it's a very cool thing. We'll make it a tradition. Yeah, like why not? I have the I already made all the graphics and they're not dated. So we <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. Uh fantastic. Uh, now talking of fantastic, look, we got tech. Hey. How you doing, tech? Very well, thank you. Good stuff. Um uh am I right in saying <laughs> that uh, Plastic Architect has done a parade as well for her city? Yeah, so she was, uh, she met with me today just before Flynn went live and she's kicking herself that she didn't, uh, she completely forgot to submit it to. Oh no. Yeah, she completely forgot. But I think she's posted it on Instagram and I think she's posting a video today or in the next couple of days or something. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, but yeah, she's been doing a, a pride parade and it's going to be part of her uh, new city style that she's doing. Um, so I'm sure uh, she will display that on uh, mockumentary at some point as oh, well. Be sure keeping think, keeping us aware. It's brilliant, mate. It's brilliant. So um, now the idea I had, and I do apologise for not having not done it yet, um, but I've got a year now. If we're going to make it a tradition, uh, I've got a year to work on it. Uh, bet you don't do it. Bet. Uh, 
I'll, I'll, <laughs> I will do it. I will do it. I'll do it because take back as a whole or won't. <laughs> it's like that. Um, no, I, I was going to do the, or my idea would be to do the Beatles. You know the Beatles. You know the album cover where they're walking across the road. Yeah. Yep. Right. Do the characters, the monochrome characters, and uh, instead of a uh, black and white zebra crossing, a rainbow crossing. Oh, oh, very nice. I'm going to steal that. Yep, it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Look at you that. Know look. What I gotta say, like, oh, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice oh, to I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a video on, like, a, just a quick video on how to make this and what pieces you need. Because it's yeah. really, really, really easy. We get questions um, pretty much every single stream. Yeah. Someone asks really? how you did that um, rainbow. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's it epic. also it also reminds me of the entrance into Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yes. How appropriate. Where you kitty lives. It is in yeah. fact the entrance into Kevin's amusement park. So. Plus, plus hey. you can you can wear it as a hat. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be all the rage on the I, I next year. It's like a, a very over elaborate fascinator. Is it that's, why, that's why we got Kevin to wear it because he's like bringing it down to streetwear, just you know, with his ambiance, keeping it, keeping it real. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll take the camera off him a little bit because he's. Um, I don't want to give him neck ache. At the RSI, the <laughs> neck. You're like uh, a living emoji. So cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're all like living emojis. That's the point. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I tell you what, so uh, we've got a question from Abby. Now, I always thought it was Abby the Brick Swirl, but actually, apparently, it's Abby the Brick Squirrel. Uh, now, Abby, please do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but why had, um, what she says is question, question for the streamers. She goes, if you could have more of existing bricks elements and existing colors, what two or three colors would you get more of? Oh, magenta, I, magenta, I, magenta. magenta, yeah, we've got a thing about magenta. Now, tell us a little bit about that then, uh, Tom. Uh, well, magenta is in, like, all the Demon Ball King stuff. Um, and it's in a lot of the Lego Movie 2 stuff as well. So I've been looking at sets um, of those that are, like, still on, like, heavy discount. And I might buy quite a few of those um, and part out because I think the, the pieces can be really useful for Monkey Kid stuff. Oh, sorry, did, you, did, you, did you say he was going to buy a few of them, Tech? Yeah, there's there's a lot of the Lego Movie stuff have like parts, um, like parts buckets and just general like random assorted pieces of various different colors. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll probably get a few and then and then like I said, just part them out. Uh, Captain Zane's is coral. That's a nice one. Very very friendly. Uh, coral. Coral. Uh, coral. Coral. Mine, coral. Mine would be olive green. Olive. That's, yeah, um, it was in the, uh, uh, the, the the Parisian restaurant was made. Yeah, oh yeah. I've, I've been collecting bits here, but I'm, I can I can never get enough to make something decent Just out of it. The whole no, haunted, house, there, um, the whole haunted oh, house is made out of olive green. Is it? I've not got that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the haunted house is a massive set full of olive green. And yeah, you, got, you got it. And you don't need it. Uh, I do. It's on yeah. a different shelf now. Uh, got my address. You can send it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know where you can get, you can pick up good cheap olive green is uh, Chima. What, olive green was used heavily in Chima. Uh, uh, and those are, nobody really likes those sets anymore, I don't think. Like, they're kind of one of those ones that went the way of, like, Nexo Nights. Like, it's great for parts, but not necessarily a theme that a lot of people are super into. So you can usually get them cheaply. And then magenta, there was a lot of magenta in elves. And now, unfortunately, those aren't as easy to get a hold of. But now, they definitely used a lot of it in the in there. Flynn, I see, I hear a lot of love for elves. I don't really hear too much about Chima anymore. That seems to have sort of drifted away. Yeah. Um, what, what, what is the thing with elves that people like so much? Tell us a little bit about that, because I, I, I never really got into elves. But what? Well, I just, I think it was... Um, so Lego has, uh, you know, obviously like a long history doing fantasy, um, you know, pretty much like straightforward castle and, and jousting and horses kind of fantasy. Um, and they did, you know, they they dipped into Lord of the Rings and that sort of thing. But I think it was um, the first one to really do like quite fantastical sort of fantasy um if that makes sense like really kind of over the top colors and this the design of it it just had really really good d 
design to it. And it also uh, had dragons, really amazing dragons. They got a whole series of dragons in all kinds of different colors. Um, and I, I don't know. I, there's a lot of love. It's one of those... Um, it's one of those themes that went, you know, had a short life, but while it was around, it burned hot. <laughs> like, it, there, you know, it had a lot going on. And funny enough, one of those ones that I think most people discovered after it was already gone. Um, mm. I hear a lot mm. of people say like, oh, I never really, you know, was into it when I saw, you know, when it was around the first time. But like now that I see it and the parts and the colors and stuff, I'm really into it. So, um so yeah i think that's i i really do think that's what it, the dragons and and they came they also had some really good uh like villain characters like every season because you know it was hooked up with the show and every season they would have different types of villains and there were goblins and there were bats and you know you know all kinds of there were evil dragons and yeah Captain Zan could. definitely nailed it. It's the dragons. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they were dragons. So didn't Jargo sort of steal those dragons or something like that? Well, they have a around before. Yeah, Ninjago has a very particular kind of dragon, I think. So it's, you know, they were very different. And they've been using the same one for the last 10 years. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, but it's still here, though, isn't it? I mean, that hate like that does not serve your purpose very yeah. well. Oh, he needs a Ninjago fans tech. Yeah. yeah. What to make Monkey K look even better? Oh, uh, here we go. He can't help himself, folks. He really can't. Check. It's uh, not a rivalry. Everybody can shot, exist together. Fired. No. Everyone is awesome, Tech. Yeah. Co coexistence. Tech. Coexistence. Um, Unbelievable. Tech, tech Productions, sponsored by Apple and Diet Coke. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I wish. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Um, so, uh, colors then. Let's go more colors of the rainbow, just like our lovely panel here. Solo. So, other than dark bluish gray, uh, what color? What color would you like more of? <laughs> oh, he's he's, voice, he's mouse. There's not even a voice now. Oh, there we go. Sorry, what out. Um, yeah, I was saying there's, there's no other color, is it? And apart from gray, dark blue, gray, and all that kind of stuff, nothing else is in the color. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I mean, but you've been exploring more, like you've been building tanks, and you know, how many colors does a tank come in? Uh, if you look up there, quite a lot, actually, <laughs> there's loads. <laughs> Those are colors: gray, dark green, black, green, gray, orange, yellow, pink. Um, yeah, pink. Hold on yeah, 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 yeah. Who yeah. has a what country had a pink tank? Um, the Croatians did. They thought it would be a good camouflage. Okay. In what? In what? Like a uh, sunset or something like that? In a, in yeah. a flamingo cage. Yeah, yeah. it's a flamingo yeah. cage, probably. <laughs> yeah, so are... <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like pink, green, and purple or something like that i don't know yeah that was yeah it's weird um, anyway but yeah i'll be hey, doing that we could, a foam party we're going to war in the giant foam party dome or something like that uh but <laughs> those are the days uh come on ibiza um what about well, job what about you then so you you've gone to olive haven't you yeah okay so he's gone to olive. well what about you then um brenda what what color don't you're not allowed to say red I listen. I would not. I want the single, the single sparkly, transparent orange that currently only exists as that one There's weapon. One piece. There's one piece. It is also a precious. It's like unicorn. transparent orange with glitter in it. Yeah. It exists in one CMF character, like Wonder Woman or something. It's, it's in her weapon. Beautiful, and it's in her. And they need weapon. more. Transparent orange with sparkles. Exactly. That's the only thing we need. Exactly. Other, right. Otherwise, we're happy. We're totally happy. That I would be so content. <laughs> I'd be so content. I just want Wonder Woman's weapon available to me and more options. But Wonder Woman's weapon is a is a lasso. It's a bit of old rope, isn't it? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Rope. 
I got just the, we don't, Greg, we're not focused on the details. It's the color. <laughs> yeah, it's the color. Never mind. Okay. I can think of more, you know, I can think of better weapons. Someone coming at you with a bit of string. Ooh, take that, you. Listen, but, if Wonder Woman was coming at you with a butter knife, I'll you give up straight away. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what she had, she could have a slinky. The best weapon is a strong pair of legs, Greg. We're going into that. Thank you, Kevin. We're not that sort of straight. Same you're way. You're welcome. Same uh, way for Days. Look, look at that! Look, 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 look. Oh, he's tick, he's ticking in the box now. He's, he's, he's got a, he's got a big folder there, folks, with land written on the top of it. Tick boxes. <laughs> oh no, you said that tonight. Oh, look at that. He insinuated this. Uh, <laughs> love it. So, <laughs> I love just no response. Yeah. I, I know, I know. Now, now I feel even worse. Um, um, <laughs> so, oh, we've got Miss Prince of Fun. Sorry. Uh, what about you, Cy? That's all right. That's all right. That's all cool. What about you then, Cy? Tell us a little bit about your brick collection. Okay, so the question was, if you could have more existing bricks mm -hmm. slash elements of existing colors, what two or three would you get more of? So, so hear me out. Definitely a blue, plain blue minifigure head because they're really good for gas, um, like a gas canister for camping scenes. And the second one would be glow, the, glow in the dark studs. Brilliant yes. for brilliant. They're brilliant for um, runways in airports, but no, and this this is an element. Road base plate, bring them back, please. Obviously, in the grey colour they're in. That's all. Oh, that's a good shout, actually. That's a good shout. Um, me and Tech, we, we were we were out shopping this week, and he picked up some quite cool stuff. We won't go into detail, folks. We've got a Lego haul coming out next week. Um, <laughs> Tech, I, I learned quite a fit. I, I learned I actually learned some quite cool things with tech. Oh, really? <laughs> One being mini figureheads. Tell us a little bit about that, Tech. Oh, they had um yeah, they had blank yellow mini figureheads on the pad wall, which I thought was great. Um, interesting to see um how because like you can tell what's been on the pad wall by like people's marks and when they release them like, <laughs> people will use, use like a heavy amount of them um, so i'm interested to see how they crop up um but yeah yeah no, when i saw them on there i was like oh, okay and then so i just use some as like the smaller pieces you know like to to pad out some of uh the bigger stuff um but yeah there's um there's actually like a uh i want to get some of them printed hopefully so i'm speaking to a company about um maybe getting some exclusively printed which could be fun really mm -hmm. okay so so uh, what because you've got a you've got a sig fig mm -hmm. and you've got to you want to do something that's kind of customized and stuff like mm -hmm. that yeah i like to yeah oh, so i've never gone down that route i don't know because i've not really thought about doing it or anything like that but it's expensive uh, is it? Uh, yeah. so it's customized, but what are, um, Flynn, have you ever done anything customized before? Do you mean like taking an existing set and customizing it? No, Joe, Joe, just getting some customized prints done. Because I know you guys are into have your marks. <laughs> have you done any marks? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Uh, never made one. Um, <laughs> um, let me see. Have I? Um, I have gotten. Well, like we had somebody donated when we very first started doing our streams. Somebody donated a bunch of bricks and custom printing for us to get like tricky bricks, bricks made. Yeah. So had those, and um, well, when we did our we did um our California Dream and Mock, we made our own stickers. Because we really like it was supposed to be set up like a um, uh, an amusement park ride, and we had the queue, and we wanted like numbers for the top of the queue. And at the time, our our collection was a lot smaller than it is now, and we also had some other ones we wanted to that we would never be able to. They just don't exist. So um, yeah, I guess I've, I guess you could say I've done some of that. I've gotten and I've definitely gotten some bricks printed before with custom artwork. So yeah. So where, where do you go for places like that? I mean, there's I, a guy who's in. Our, I mean, fortunately for me, there's a guy in our lug who does it. Um, so he's, you know, he's uh, willing to to help out with that 
you know, with that kind of stuff. So oh, that's cool. Um, Tech, did you did you go? Did you look on Instagram or anything like that, or was it like the Google? Thing? I took quite a shortcut actually because I just spoke to Tommy, who's recently released figures, um, and he he did like tons of legwork. And when I say like tons, he was speaking to so many different people about like the prices and quality and what like pad versus UV and all different things. So, um, so yeah, so Tommy just uh, just told me who he used to uh, go in contact with him. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Uh, what about what about you, Solo? Have you ever gone down this route before? Because it's something I thought about. Because like, because especially if you get like ten thousand subscribers, you can go down the merch route and things like that. You know, so like you know, mugs, t-shirts, that kind of thing. <laughs> We'd like to point out that you can merch anytime. Yeah, you can merch anytime. You're quite right, actually. You are quite right. Have you guys ever merged anything? Because I would, I would imagine Brenda, being an artist, you can merch everything. Oh, we have uh, we have some some OG I'm bored toys fans who for are our, already for our deep cut fans. Our deep cut you fans. get you get we we're, we're giving these away to yeah. some of our besties. Yeah, and um, because yeah. they demand. And we them. have a Kevin half, but it's all yeah. white. Yeah, and, and we have a tie dye half that's present. This is me. This is Kevin. Where's the glitter half? Listen, in my heart, Flynn, in my it's, heart, it's I'll put glitter, glitter in the flip. packages before they, before they get them. We had some people that, like, yep. actually were like, yes, I do want a T-shirt, so we're giving them as gifts to the people that sort of, like, ordered them way oh, early. Wow. So really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've had it with YouTube's rules about monetization and, like, we do what we honestly, want. there's so many amazing small channels out there. Yeah, big that, time. Yeah will only succeed if you can support them. And so I think it's silly for people to have to wait that long, yeah. to be honest. Do and it's want. expensive. It is expensive. You know? It is it's a huge cut. Yeah. yeah. So, it's it's madness, the, the, the cut they make. Also as well, for us in the UK, right? So this is a thing, right? About, I don't know, a month ago or so, um, Sai, you might have got it as well. Um, Jarv, you may. Jarv, are you monetized? Uh, yes. Okay, I was going to say because you've been quite big for quite a while. Um, uh, Lee, have you monetized? Uh, yeah, yeah, I wasn't going to because um, I've been able to get monetized since like May time. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't going to, but then I was talking to my brother and he said, "Well, you know, just just put in for it and see how it goes." Um, and then I think it was. Saturday just gone, I put mm. in, and then by Monday, I was I was allowed to get going. Oh, okay, that's good. So that's good. Quick, quick. But the, the thing is, right, we're, we're, so so I've been monetized for a few months, and uh, YouTube said, right, okay, you're outside of the US, so if you're outside of the US, you have to disclose that and put in some tax forms and stuff like that, and if you don't do it, we're going to tax you 24%. So I was like, okay, well, I'll be, I'll be good. I'll do it. And I did it. And they came back and said, right, we're going to tax you 30%. And I was like, thanks. I should have not bothered. Uh, and then I would have been better off. <laughs> well, I'm not bothered. I don't think I will now. Thanks, Greg. No. Are the you, UK are you up? Do they not have an agreement with you? I'm tax free. I, I don't pay tax on mine. Yo, you will have to pay tax because the money that you get from the US people that contribute to your channel, um, the American customs will have a slice of that as well no I, I i went through the whole thing and there's some sort of agreement that the us and ireland have and ah sorry yeah you're right ireland yeah you're a different country um so yeah that's it yeah you're, you're um you're obviously you're, you are uh, a different country because you are republic of ireland so that, that's yeah. why that is so ah so so yeah Brit, Brit, so well, well. The Irish government will probably have some sort of thing on that because they tax you for breathing and walking down the street. Yeah. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> They'll give you some other way. They really yeah, will. They um, oh, that's, that's cool. Of course, I, I, I that, always think... Is that the door? No, <laughs> customs. No. Yeah. They're going to take away your computer. Guys, yeah. taxes are an important way to achieve financing for um, municipal services. Uh, healthcare. And so on. They're an important sweet, part of our infrastructure. Sweet healthcare. 
yeah. The healthcare is pretty much free over in our country, so isn't it? It's you know, it's not as expensive as the US no. and Canada, which is just I have oh, a friend, ours, friend, ours friend is, bro- ours broke is free, buddy. Ours is free. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't understand the American way. A friend of mine broke his leg over in America and it cost him twenty grand. Yeah. Twenty oh, grand. Oh. Yeah. I'd want yep. a new leg for that. Yep. What the bloody hell? You pay forty quid here and everything's done. Yeah. That's true. Well, but there you go, you're different countries, you know, different horses for different horses, yeah. uh, I think they say. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that, that is the way it is. Um, what about um, what about you, Tech? Are you, are you monetized now? Because I know you was... No, I'm still, I'm still quite a way off the what's done. Oh, okay, man. I think you was on that. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Um, I thought it was actually called monetized, not monetized. It is. It's my play on words. Don't worry about it, Lee. You get used to it. Uh, we make up. That's why I have to have um, a linguistic person on with me as well. Uh, oh yes, yeah. linguistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's play on words. Oh, it, it is, it, it, it's a fun play on words, isn't it? It's, it's not, it's not. Okay. Uh, it's probably why it never works. When it, I just saw the camera come up with a hand then, with an arm. What's going on? She fell off the chair laughing. Yeah. <laughs> the way you say monetarize. Yeah. <laughs> monetarize. Is it, what is it, monetarize, monetarize? I don't monetize. know. Monetize. Money, monetarized. Monetized. Monetized. All right, monetized it is then. And you like solo over his um his admiral uh, um thingamajigger. Oh yeah, and then the Laren, yeah, you Laren. I can't talk. Admiral you Laren. Yeah, go on, Solo. You Laren. Come on, Solo. You can do it. Big Star I'm Wars fan. Swear, I'm swearing at all of you below the camera, so you can just screw <laughs> yourself. Admiral, you Laren. I'm sticking up for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah but you're triggering these guys off. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel it. It's coming. Um, on my arm. That, that was on my arm from meeting. Oh, hello. Uh, good stuff. We'll keep that as a memento, Sai. Um, uh, yeah, do you get do, when you had yours done? Did you get like a little badge or anything like that to say you've been? Um, oh. Not even, not even a lollipop. No, I asked her and she kind of smirked. I presume she smirked. She had a mask on, but no, no sticker, no nothing. I, it, I was crying and everything, and she, I got a kick in the arse. Out. There you go. Get out, you. <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, oh God, that's uh, they, 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 they knew you was coming. That's what it was. So, si. um, so I, I've, I've, I've had both my jabs done. Now, you, have you just had the one, or is that was that your second side? So? Just, just the one. Yeah, I'm dreading the next one. No, not for, it's the needles that get me. It's just the medicine's fine. All that's yeah. fine. I have to. Oh, it, it just seems to get worse. Oh my God! But um, yeah, can't wait to get the next one. Then I'm fully done, and you know, it takes a weight off your shoulders. It does. It does. It's, it's good to get done. Um, tech. How many have you, have you had yours yet? Yeah, uh, no, I was, I'm available to book this week, so I'm going to book it this weekend. Ah, good name. Ooh, good name. Yeah, uh, Solo, you must have had yours done by now. No. Have no. you not? I thought no, you were talking not. about this months ago. Yeah. No. I, I've got my one tomorrow. Oh. I thought. I thought your wife. I thought your wife was a nurse. No, my miss. Yeah, sorry. No, my missus had it done. Yeah, she's had both parts done. She's had hers done ages ago. Ages oh, ago. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. She's got it all done. Then we nearly had a scare of coronavirus. She nearly had to quarantine again. It's like good times. Okay. <laughs> well, there's all these variants of it at the moment. That's just that, that is. Well, it turns out she just turns out she just had a sniffle. She was in work the next day. I was like, bugger off, get in. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> That's good. But well, we get a test tonight. We've got three tests over here now, which is good. Um, what about you, Lee? Uh, how's the rollout going in, uh, in in sunny Wales? Yeah, it's not bad actually. I've had um, I've had both my jabs. I have, um, okay. but yeah, it's like I just love it because everything's starting to sort of like open up again. You kind of mm-hmm. get a sense of normality, um, but there's always you always edge on the side of caution. It's yeah. like when people used to. Um, like sneeze or cough by me. I used to hate it anyway, but now I absolutely detest it. Mm. I loved yeah. it. <laughs> sneeze yeah. on me. Sneeze on yeah. me. Please, <laughs> cough, please, I beg you. It, it's quite an unsociable thing, though, is it? We get people on the train and stuff like that, and they start coughing. It's like, you don't mind as long as they're wearing a mask. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. If if Jarv sneezes, you're going to have to move Lee around. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go that direction. <laughs> so here's the thing, then. So Java's got a city. Jarv, what's the name of your city? Um, I suppose Gotham. That's what it's based on. Gotham. Okay, I'm liking that. Yeah, because you've got some good Batman stuff going it's on. It's not really got a name, but I've I've, I've based it on uh, Gotham and DC stuff. Okay. Oh, well, that's great. That's good. That's good. Good choice. Uh, Miss Bricks, if I'm, what's the name of your city? Brickley. Who? Brickley. So, Brickley. obviously, I'm called Brickley. Lee. That's very good. I like it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Great yeah. words. Very better cool. than Lagondon. Oh, here we go. Sorry, what was that? I said better than Lagondon. Greg, Greg, <laughs> Greg, didn't, Greg didn't name it Lagondon, though. He's going to. No, uh, I didn't name it Lagondon. <laughs> Heck, I don't I, think I you're on the right it. mic, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Was that on the right mic? Oh. You're not on the right mic. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're not on that. <laughs> see, see, I don't point out at people's defects. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that better. Sure, Is that better? Fun. So, Flynn, yeah, have, you, have you ever thought about starting a city or anything like that? Um, I would love to, uh, except for we just don't have the room. Like we live in a small apartment and as it is, we're kind of overwhelmed by, um, a bunch of the stuff that we have. So, um, it's, but it's, I don't know. It kind of goes back to like when I was a kid, we had a neighbor friend, like of my dad's who had a whole like train layout, like a, you know, HO scale train layout in their basement. And it kind of kicked off my whole fascination with miniatures and, hmm. you know, small stuff. And, uh, I, yeah. So having a Lego city is something on the sort of like one day when we get uh, a dedicated Lego room, that's not also our dining room and that we don't also have to walk through to get to every other part of the house. Um, <laughs> you know, I might be able to set something like that up. But we do a train under the tree every year um, at Christmas, so we do that's we oh, kind of right. get our little city needs out that way. You that's can come hang out on stream with my dad sometimes. Oh my god, it's yeah. so fun! Awesome, <laughs> whole entire it was. It's like the entire basement. That was right? our first other Toy Tuesday. It was, so it was the most wholesome stream it was so I've awesome. ever witnessed. It well, was my fantastic. dad's a very wholesome person. He's it was fascinating as well. I learned so much about like model ra railroad, railroad. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, model railroad. Railroad. railroad in the United States, railway in Canada and the UK. I, well, I got mixed up. I was like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what yeah, Admiral right. Yularen uh, <laughs> we all go through it folks we all do um so tell us a little bit about this then because when i was a kid i used to be into hornby we used to have like double o gauge or oo gauge is that still a thing in america double o gauge man yeah it's still the thing oh well, well what about what about your uh, your dad uh kevin uh, he and... does ho scale which is 87 to 1 um and then like next up would be oh i don't is double o bigger or smaller than oh i'm not sure um uh, i i can't I don't remember double o, but o is a little bit bigger than ho anyway and then okay n scale and z scale are, are, are popular as well which are yeah i think you guys i think you guys in canada work on different scales of what we've got over here oh okay oh really maybe o -O yeah. is I, think, I think they're the same scales they just Word ah, it so OO is 87 to 1. It's like a train to be about, I don't know, this high. Oh, uh, no. So our train's about, yeah, about, say, yay big, yeah, yay long. Be, yeah, that's about right then. So, yeah, because I used to have OO. A, a little yeah. bird tells me, Lee, that you've got a bit of a train collection yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've had it for a few years. Um, I had, a, like, a model railway going around my back garden. Um, and I was OO, uh, well, HO and OO are quite similar. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, but normally my, um, my train track outside could stand the cold weather. <coughs> but this one, this bout of cold weather we had, it just literally ruined it. So I've had to lift it all up and get new track. I haven't got new track yet, but mm. I do need, so it's, it's a bit of a bit of a letdown, really, but yeah, it's not just the Lego. 
<laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's cool because so that's that's an interesting point actually. You pick up on there. Um, so we've all got, I mean, we've all got lives outside of Lego and things like that. What else do we do? What other passions do we pursue? So the you know you kind of into your train sets and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Flynn. and fairgrounds. And fairgrounds. Yeah, yeah. I'm like going to amusement parks. Um, oh, okay. just like little. I'm like to be fair, I'm. I'm such a wet white when it when it comes to rides. I can't go on <laughs> hardly anything. Um, I'm Sounds just... like a rubbish hobby then. Yeah, yeah. But now it's like um, all, all the love going through the gates. Oh god, that, that's just that's a challenge in itself. That is. But yeah, no, I love going around um, like amusement parks and everything. Just yeah, just yeah. to have a look. You know, I do go on some rides, but I follow. Um, there's a few YouTubers that I follow as well. Um, so when I can't get to go there, I watch them and watch them go in there. Yeah, I know, I know Matt, who's who's normally on here. He does a he go he goes to a lot of places whereby um, uh, solo. What is that you got in your? Is that, is that some sort of loan? <laughs> Looks like oh. a vapor. What the hell was that? It works. <laughs> It works. So no, I've been I've been fixing this. It, it broke on me a couple of days ago. So I've just been I've just putting all back. See your hair dryer. Yeah, <laughs> my hair dryer. Very big one. <laughs> that one's if I want to do my missus one. Do <laughs> 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 your missus or that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do it for my re. You see, I can just you know just reach over. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it while I'm streaming. Yeah. yeah, right, you can. You know, I don't, have to, I don't have to move. I can keep building or keep streaming. I could just, there you go, dry your hair. There you go, love. Why if the daughter go comes go away, I can blow her away. Bosh. Blow your plants away on your balcony or something. If I had I any was going to say, yeah. Kill. My missus kills them. Why do you live in a flat? Nah, it's, it, it's my work tool. I use this at work, right. but it, it's, the motor packed up on me, so I brought it in, fixed it, and uh, yeah, it's got to go back in the van. Yeah. Uh, I thought gardeners just use those, but there we go. All right, so outside outside of Lego, then uh, Sio Connor, Funko Pops, they kind of float your boat, don't they? Yep, Funko Pops. I I accidentally got into collecting Funko Pops because there's a, a YouTuber I watch called Jay Shockblast, and he collects different various things from Marvel and stuff. But he had this particular one on, and it was a Spider Man, and he was like, "If you guys see this in the shop, go and get it. It's a GameStop exclusive." So I said, "I'll go and have a look," and I got it, and I was like, "Oh, Funko Pops are pretty cool," and it just spiraled, like spiraled out of that. But like. You just when you get into something, as Lee says, you, you start to watch other YouTubers that aren't Lego YouTubers. So there's a a, a Canadian guy called um, Top Pops. His name is Tristan, and he has a really good channel. He's only about seventeen, but um, he knows everything about them. And Funko have have had him like on their their YouTube channel, and but like you pick up so much stuff, and I've learned different things from like say Marvel and DC. I didn't learn in movies or books and stuff from just being into stuff like that but like they're bigger than lego they're they're easier to store but they take more space but um, oh, i love yeah. them awesome i i think so they're uh, funko pops is funko pops a bigger company than lego is i wouldn't say no no no, no. Le no. lego is a multi-billion dollar company yeah. and funko I, I they're small but they're well known if you know yeah them. Yeah, they've definitely okay. got more products. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, they're, 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 uh, a lot of people do collect them. I've, I've got some, I've got one here. Um, I do collect the old ones, and it's because of people like you, so I've kind of got me into it a little bit. So I collect the old one that I like, you know, I just pick yeah. them up. You also get like they're able to make um products from kind of more adult um teams as well. Say like um Rick and Morty, they 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 seem to own the entire license to Rick and Morty. They they do everything. They also own Loungefly as well, who do you know backpacks and jackets and stuff like that. So they're they're really they're a really big company. But um yeah, and the stuff is well made. Oh wow, brilliant! Oh, that's cool. Um, so. Uh, presumably then solo out, outside of lego uh you like photography <laughs> no no my missus just brought this in she just got i think she picked it up for someone just checking it out i don't want a bit of photography though yeah I, I like i love photography i really do um, i'm prepping it as it knows but i yeah, like but it 
it, it's well you can be as good or as bad as it it's um you know it's it's is is what it is really it's art it can be anything subjective uh <laughs> is the thing so now then uh Someone who's into uh, Big Dippers and amusement Ooh. parks as well, and probably doesn't mind riding on them, is this chap ah, here. Hello he's there. Like, his life is one big roller coaster, folks. It really is. Um, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you guys like to do outside of Lego art. I like to um, paint and draw. I'm really into unicycling and complex puzzles, also sarcastic remarks. <laughs> How we were telling you about each other's hobbies. A little bit of trickery. If you um, will. I like doing, yeah, like puzzles, like Sudoku type puzzles. All toys. Um, all, all, all toys. Games. I used to be a very well known unicyclist. You're still very well known, Nicole. I know. There's a T-shirt with Kevin unicycling on it, like it's true. Actually, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's not. There's a documentary about unicycling with Kevin in it. I thought he was like blowing smoke the first time you told me about that. It's that's not what I did, <laughs> you know, in my. I, I, I in like my to see day. that. I, I like to see Kevin building something whilst riding a unicycle. Just saying. Just throwing <laughs> it out Listen, there. Listen, we're <laughs> million subscribers. We're on it. Unicycling. Yes, unicycling is as easy as walking. <laughs> that would not be impressive. I will learn to juggle while Kevin unicycles and will toss pieces back and forth to simultaneously build another unicycle. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I see what is pretty cool. Give us a demonstration of this uh, roller coaster, Kevin. What, what is it you're trying to do here? I'm just playing with techniques. So no, the one with the community. So one of the hardest thing, one one of the thing that's super annoying about these roller coaster pieces is that um, you know when the roller coaster set it goes up the hill and then flattens out, <laughs> and it uses um, I'm trying to find this piece. Give me one sec. Again. To flatten out, it uses this piece, yeah. right? Brenda, stop okay. doing techniques. <laughs> techniques. Now, unfortunately, um, in order to go from you, you can't just use a straight piece to go onto this. You either need one of these uh, or the 45 degree angle ones they use, and they only make those in red. And so, if you want any other color to do a normal 45 degree lift hill, uh, you actually can't do it longer than this distance. That's why you see all these stupid roller coasters they make that are only have a hill this big. Oh. Um, and so I'm playing with this technique of building a hill and having it immediately go over uh, into a down 45 degree so that you can use other colors for your hills. That's the idea. Which is a very pleasing thing and to that test drive you, the cars on. Allows you to make, I don't know, some really nice, smooth things. So this is the side-by-side -side technique I'm using to the get that. The people are screaming for Liz to go down the roller coaster. Oh. Yes, Liz. Liz. All the time, Liz. Liz. We so want Liz. not enough for you? We have the okay. No, Liz. Who is Liz? Did Liz you just say who's Liz? Not I noticed someone right? didn't say that. No, no, I said no. <laughs> Flynn is about to go wild on someone right now. <laughs> who said, who said they don't know who Liz Emily, is? Emma Soros asked who Liz was not too long ago. <gasps> Shocking. No way. Cancel. No, we I always. I unsubscribe to her. Don't worry. That's not true. We don't shame people. We inform. We share. We share. That is a shameable Liz offense for life. All right, here we go. We have a backup, Liz, just in case. This is from Jamae. It says one for Dad. Thank you, Jamae. Your dad. That was for you. She was talking about. We, she mailed us a bunch of poly bags, and including multiple Liz's and backup Liz's. All right, Thank here's you. the hair. Thank you. Here's the hair. Thank you. Here's the body. If anyone's seen the private stream, I think Greg's going to get kicked from I his know, own. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, don't look. Yes. All right. Here we, okay, fine. Here, he is. here you go, Mark. It has one too many hills, but that's okay. Liz is going down as per usual. Liz, 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 Liz. Liz, 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 Liz. Yes. <laughs> there you go. That was thrilling, wasn't it? It was thrilling. Give me. <laughs> Uh, Liz looks like she had a very good time. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> I have no interest in Lego roller coasters, but what you've done there is, is really impressive. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Look at oh me. God, Look at the roller coaster. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking out your glasses. Like, I can see my reflection in them. Fantastic. Um, 
No, good stuff. All right. So, what, what is the what, what is this thing with roller coasters, then, uh, Kevin? Because every, every I just time like I see things you... rolling on other things. So, like, anytime a ball, you know, like a rolling ball sculpture or whatever you, mm. you want to call it. So, yeah. I also for a while I learned how to make them with copper <laughs> wire. So, like, pretty thick copper wire and like cutting it and like putting it into rails and having a ball roll down it all over these hills and stuff. Um, I made some of those. My best one's in my office, and I haven't been there for like a year. So I'll grab oh. it whenever I go back again um, oh, okay. and, and sh to show it off. We should do another Toy Tuesday just, just about that. I'm not, that's yeah, I'd be interested to see that because you, like, you got a bit of a, you know, I'm bored toy. Is that, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of more generalized than just Lego. Yeah, that's why we do other Toy Tuesdays. You can join us on Tuesdays. Lego involved. But we did, we had a Spirograph a couple weeks ago. And no, we had our Lego. best one was the headphones. <gasps> the headphones. Oh, my gosh. We built the KiwiCo crate headphones and played the Whisper Challenge. And it almost broke us. It almost <laughs> broke us. They're stylish. They're fine. We built these. Well, we, I mean, we had a lot of help from. Isn't that cool? I made a wood. Yeah. There's like I... a CNC cut and some like 3D printed pieces. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And they're I've... amazing. They were actually really lovely to build. And they're startlingly good. And we played the Whisper Challenge, it which so is funny. like, we pick something to say. And and you you have to you can't hear and so you have to guess. You and, put your headphones on and, blast and it was ridiculous. Music. It was ridiculous. And we I don't even need headphones for that. To to uh, it goes without saying that my guess of Chandler is the most expensive lover was not correct. Or perhaps Jello is the best tool. Incorrect. Incorrect. Turns out. Yeah. <laughs> you go all, all different directions with that. Um, I've actually got a set of headphones made of walnut wood, Ooh. and it's really good. Fancy. They are lovely. They're beautiful. My favorite headphones I've ever had. They really are. They're wonderful. I got this um, I'll, I'll take it back. I never said it. <laughs> here we are. So, <laughs> so Jav, tell us, tell us then a little bit. Going back to the city, Milaki. Um, tell us a little bit about your city and where you start, why you do it, and where you get the ideas for the modulars from. Um, I think the 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 origin of it is with like with most cities came from jam bricks and um i was collecting a few sets and i just thought why don't i start it so um i started i, I was converting my loft because my kids what stopped wanted to stop sharing a room so i had to give up mm -hmm. my office uh, so i converted my loft and then that became a toy room and then it became from the kids toy room to my toy room and then i collect gathered all the lego off the kids and confiscated it and put it up in the loft and then it just grew from there really and it's just uh I, I, and i had i had um, a few modulars i think i've got all of the modulars but about the first three i think um, were missing and um the first one i dismantled and uh changed it all up was the uh, parisian restaurant the hardest mm -hmm. thing i've ever had to do um but I, I got the bug for it then and then they all went and there's actually nothing in the city now that resembles a Lego set. Oh wow! But is that is that the thing you do? So you so have, have you? I know I know Miss Bricks of Fun has done this. The, the Daily Bugle, massive set, big set that's out there now. Um, I know Lee's got it. Um, mm -hmm. Jav, you've got it, haven't you? I'm sure I. I haven't. I haven't got it yet. Um, I am going to get it, and I've got plans for it. I already. Uh, I already bought Lex Luthor and a few uh, henchmen in preparation for building Lex Corp Tower out of the Daily right. Bugle. Very cool. So yeah, I've got I've got because everything's DC themed in the city as well. So um, I know Lex Corp was in Metropolis, not um, Gotham, but you know it's DC, isn't it? Yeah, that's still DC. That's pretty cool. Um, Lee, are you gonna um, are you gonna stick with the Daily Bugle, or are you gonna modify it, give it some sort of alternative theme street? You know, what? what... Mm, no, I think I'm just gonna stick. I'm just gonna stick with it as it is. Um, I'm not a very good modifier, but um, yeah, who knows? I'm in the future. I might I might have a go at doing something with it, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's cool. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's a wonderful set. Has anyone else actually built built the Daily Bugle, or is going to build it? Because it's a big set. Let's face it. 
How about you, yeah. Solo? Uh, do you think you might get it? Uh, I would love to. Absolutely would love to. But, yeah, I've got nowhere to shove it. So I'm not... I'm going to just... I, the only reason I want the set is just for two minifigures. And it's a bit expensive for me to just to justify it for two minifigures. Not even I could do that. And believe mm. me, <laughs> I've tried. Well, you, might, you might as well just buy the two minifigures then. Cause, um, they'll yeah. Be yeah. I, but the thing is, I do like the set as well. I mean, I've watched a couple of people build it. Um, and it's just like, oh, it looks so good. It's so detailed the inside of it. It, it, looks, it looks so nice, but yeah, there, there's, there's other sets out there that's intriguing me a little bit more. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably will pick up those minifigures separately at some point. You know, do a bit of bricklink searching, or if someone wants to sell it to me on Facebook, crack on. <laughs> or someone just wants to give it to me, give it to me, honestly. Punisher yeah, in there. Yeah, and... Why not? <laughs> uh, well, what about the subscribers, Mike? You never know. You never know. These yeah. stranger things do happen. Um, I do like it. Oh, it was <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> right, we're, now, I didn't quite catch where, where what, what was this mood thing come from there? <laughs> I didn't realize that that was, um, that was going to change <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> Tech, tell us a little bit about this video that you did this week that involved okay. you and I on your okay. new channel. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave uh, that lovely photo of Greg up on there. Um, but <laughs> I'm excited to doing it now, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so I uh, kicked off a new channel this, uh, this week, um, and it's just some stuff I want to do where I can collaborate with other people and different things. Um, and one of the, uh, the the first video in like my new series Tech Versus was with Greg uh, with the Technic uh, with the Technic Dragster and Monster Truck and uh, and yeah so I made this really over the top extra dramatic um, three challenge thing and um, when I was slowing down or putting the the clips in slow mo or when I recorded it in slow mo when Greg won one of the challenges uh you could hear him celebrate but it was in slow-mo and it sounded like i was on a farm like it was incredible um and so i i like crept that in i don't think greg saw it on the video but i did like just pull that in on the side oh, no, of i saw video. it i saw it i was like <laughs> what, what i was like that was a, you should watch the chat back on that one <laughs> <laughs> But um, but yeah, no, no. I think if you uh, if you go watch that video, you definitely uh, you can definitely hear what I'm hear what I'm saying. It's a it's a proper like. What's <laughs> <laughs> that? Blooming bullseye or something like that. <laughs> blooming bullseye. Uh, uh, Captain Dane says, "I wish uh, work for the next hour, then for most of the day tomorrow. The joy of retail. Yeah, that is a thing, isn't it? So you always say that about people that work in retail. Our, their hours can be." A bit yeah, I mean, it's what I like to say when I open up on a Thursday on the stream. You know, if you work in an office, Friday is the best day of the week, and it's like, yes, the week is finished. If you work in retail, you could be working until half 11 on Friday night, and you could be getting up to work at 10 on Saturday morning. And forget about Sundays. That's just, well, it's double time some places, so it's not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. Double bubble in all that. Double bubble. Thing, which is good. Um, so, um, so lee uh, your city then tell us a little bit about your city uh, what, what, what sort of direction are you going with your city and do you, are you using like the mills technique or anything like that no um i'm just sticking to well hopefully what i'm going to be including in my city in the next well in the near future let's say is um a safari park i'm going to be putting a safari park in um I just like to keep it simple. So all the mills and everything, it's it's not for me. Mm. But not to say in the future, I don't I don't know, but I think at the moment I just need to concentrate on expanding really. Okay. Which, uh, obviously I, I'm gonna need more room, as we all do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So, so I've got this idea then, um, whereby, and I think Java might have done something like this. So I'm going to use, I use two IKEA tables, and I don't really want to make it any bigger in all honesty, because it just takes up a lot of space. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like 120 centimetres by two metres. And what I'm thinking of doing is just getting another set of tables, another two tables with short legs, yeah. like two low legs, and, um, and then just put them on top of them. So I can do some sort of rail system underneath. 
Jarv, is, yeah. is that what you've done, or Lee? Maybe something you're thinking of doing? Like this. Oh, here we go. Um, I can't see what you're looking at now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yes, that's it. Something like that. Yeah, I like it. And it will be going down there as well, eventually. Awesome. And it's going to go all the way around eventually as well. Oh, it's so good. Isn't that incredible? It's literally like the London Underground there. The underground well, there's, so there's a train station to get oh, there. I love it. Ooh, I like the way you've done the underground sign. That's very clever. Yeah. Yeah, that's the base of the Christmas tree. You've not seen my latest video, have you, Greg? Mm. Uh, I have oh, fan. Did, did, did he do his research for the guests? Oh, Unbelievable. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I, oh, oh. What, what can I say? I found. I do like that picture. It's very funny. Are you saying uh, your latest video, Greg? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the test, there is no latest bit. I'm just yes, kidding. I will see. But the, the, the one thing that me, the tech and I were talking a lot about, Jarv, is the, is the, the way you've created the underground, the tube network itself. You dodged, uh, you dodged his question very well there, Greg. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm uh, your presenter. I'm so you know, impressed. I don't talk. care. <laughs> 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 Tell us, uh, where did you get that technique from? <laughs> hey. I'm going to mute you, Tech. I, I, I wanted to. I've wanted to do it for ages, and I've seen other versions of uh, undergrounds, and I, I want none of them really had the arch tunnel. So I was just trying to think of ways to do it, and then lo and behold, I went to um, the Manchester Lego store, and on the pad wall, they had these beauties. Ah, oh. I got two tubs of them, and that, that's all I've got left now. But I had two tubs of them. Uh, one tub has done all of the underground, and it's done the museum as well. But because it's got a, a, a tempered edge on the side, it means that when they come over, they don't hit each other and prevent them from mm. uh, creating that arch. Uh, so then I was just trying to make it. I was just experimenting with clips. And first I was doing it, and there was a gap, and you could see the clips. So I was moving them further away. And it mm. turns out that, it, for future reference, I think it's two, mm. three and a half bricks create the uh, perfect arch so that you can't see anything from through it through any gaps or anything like that uh, so the, the, the actual clips had to be clipped back uh, three and a half bricks away from the first plate and it worked a treat yeah no it looks amazing it looks really clever uh tech and i were checking chatting loads about it and he actually managed to get me some of those bars as well anyway talking of bars chocolate bars i know someone who loves a good chocolate bar <laughs> Mr. O'Connor, it's little O'Connor as well. Hey, no leg. How you doing? Hi. Hi, no leg. Hi, no leg. Hi. Hi. Hey, no leg. Hi. 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 What wow. Is, yeah. is it an ostrich? <laughs> is it a flying dinosaur? I can't make it. It looks like a flying dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, like, what is it? What is it? Um, it is like a hacker flying a what? board. A what? You know, guys, like a hacker flying board. A flying bird. Yeah. Um, what kind of flying bird? All bird? No, no, not all bird fly. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, penguins. Oh, come back. Where is it? There he is. So let me see. Look, turn your head. It is like a. The pterodactyl. What the hell is it? I don't know. It's a scary bird. Where did you get it from? School. Yeah. Did you get it from school? Okay, he got it from school. So God knows what it could be. Oh, okay. All right. Good luck. Say hi to Darren. Hi, Gavin. Say hi to Greg. Hi, Greg. And say hi to Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Say hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Say hi to Moo Greg. Hi, Moo Moo Greg. Hi, Moo Greg. I like that. Moo Greg. Say hi to Flynn. Hi, Flynn. Say hi, Nolan. Say hi, Jarv. Hi, Jarv. Hello. Look at his look at his ceiling, isn't it awesome? Yeah. That's the sky in his leg of something to get out of the way. Mm. Look, look at, wow, isn't that awesome? Yeah. The Simpsons. <laughs> 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 
And but there's loads of people saying hi to Nolik in the chat. Everybody, there's loads of them. So we won't go through them all today because there's so many. And there's loads of people. Yeah. Like, there is, there's like 15 million of them. <laughs> okay, you go. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Say smile bye. later. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye Nolik. We love you. <laughs> that was Nolik. Bye. <laughs> Here's your hairbrush. Oh, hello. Let's have a look at his hairbrush. <laughs> Oh, I, don't what, I don't know what I was doing with it. Yeah, so what was you doing with it? <laughs> I, I, no, like, he has his own entourage, which is me. Like you have yours, Greg. So I was doing his hair. I'm his hair and makeup specialist. <laughs> look, look at his hair. Look Very at his nice. hair. He likes, he likes to do his hair like that it's because nice it's, like em, it's like Emmett's hair. <laughs> From the Lego movie, Greg. Remember that movie you said you watched? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that one with all the glue in it. <laughs> yeah, when you asked us, what's Craggle after watching that movie? <laughs> Honestly, what can I say? I'm on a learning curve, folks. It's a learning curve. Um, anyway, what else have we got going on there? Bricky T-Vice is obviously uh, not for your hairbrush. So, God. Uh, steady. Uh, there he is. Uh, watch your little man. Anyway, i tell you what we want to do. So we've got some people that have sent in some photographs. Um, so I'm going to show some photos. One person has sent in a photograph thanking tech, uh, of all people, for something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he is. I've actually got – do you know what? I tell you what, I'm going to change. I think I'm going to change my uh, picture because I've got a funny little picture of tech that nobody has ever seen. Greg, you now, will never see that cow photo again. Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can't just say that. Do uh, it. Is, is it tech? I, don't know, folks. I, I, I mean, tell you what, folks, get me to 100 likes and I might show it. <laughs> oh, you are such a little. <laughs> <sell -out. laughs> That was in glass houses, Tech. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, and I tell you what, folks, it's it's um, how can I put it? He's got bigger <laughs> feet than you imagine. Anyway, we won't. Uh, I won't go into detail. Um, one, one thing back. Uh, anyway, so someone, uh, uh, one, this is Monarch. Um, Flynn's looking at me. He's like, he's, he's not quite sure what he's seeing. Is it good or bad? Oh, no. Stick with me, Flynn. Stick with me, Flynn. I need you, man. I need oh, you. I'm there. I'm here. I am here for you. I love you, man. Um, <laughs> now, the, the lovely Minarch, um uh, sent in a picture uh, of, of a friend set. And in the friend set, folks, he says, thanks, Tech, £20 from House of Fraser. How jolly nice is Minarch sending this in? Here we go. Look at that. If I can get the camera in there at the right angle. There we go. Look at that. Retired My friend set for half price. Yeah. Amazing. Good, nice one, Tech. Um, tech, are you going to do a segment tonight? Um, that was my only deal. So there we go. House of Fraser, half price. For well, friends. <laughs> tech, um, tech reductions in a minute. What can yeah. I say? Oh, and game Greg, um, sent off Greg, there's something in the private chat as well. Oh, there's something in the private chat. Okay, let's have a look in the private chat. Private chat coming in, sir. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, can I share the picture of SG uh, for this? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course you can, mate. Uh, Flynn, you certainly can. Um, always, always. Awesome. Um, so this is um, the, the brick bots. Uh, sent me. It says, sorry. She says, sorry. No idea uh, why that is the wrong way round. Uh, don't worry. Sorry, my life. Uh, what do you think of the, of the diner? My hubby thinks it's not in keeping with the other modulars. It's the wrong era, apparently. I really like it. I like it, brick bots, because it's different. And I like different. I really do. Well, I think also, too, like a city is never made up of completely modern buildings, right? Like there's always older buildings. Yeah. Well, is, I mean, going to London, I mean, blimey, what, you're looking at the Shah, the next minute you're looking at something from like 500 years ago. Um, actually, this is quite good. Craigstar um, has sent this in to me. And it's just what we were talking about earlier on, folks. We talk about castles. We love a castle. And I was talking about Castle Grayskull. There we go. And the mm. masters of the universe. There we go. Oh, like very that. nice. Wow. It's it almost it doesn't look like Lego. It, it doesn't, actually, does it? It's that good. Um, it's funny, why do they call it Masters of the Universe? Because they never really kind of went outside of their planet. There we go. <laughs> just, just a thing. It's a like, bit. 
it, it's a bit like saying it's a bit like the American baseball thing. It's called the World yeah, Series. The World Series. It's, 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 only got, it's only got American teams in it. Greg, it's anyway, the same right. reason. The reason is exactly the um, same. My friend, <laughs> there's a Canadian baseball team. Unbelievable. Oh, is there? All right. Okay. So Canadians, Americans equals the world. But we won't go there. Um, but there we go. This one here. This is a beautiful castle, folks. Look at this castle. Changing the subject. It is lovely. Changing the subject. That is amazing. That is from the very talented Fooling with Bricks, who's out there at the moment. Probably eating jelly deals, watching us and the football at the same time. Now, we are going to show you some more artwork. And this artwork comes care of the fabulous Flynn, aka Tricky Brick. So let's get this on there, shall we? Uh, let's get it on. If I could, actually, I can't. Uh, there we go. It's easy as that. Ah, now this is amazing. Now, this sort of thing, me and Tech seem to see more oh and more of this God. sort of thing Whoa. recently. Lovely Flynn, tell us a little bit about it. Pretty. Sure. So we, you know, this was for our, the Rainbow Build Challenge, obviously, and we wanted to incorporate the Everyone is Awesome figures. And we don't do, like, we've done a few mosaics, but we've, I've, I mean, both of us have always wanted to try this kind of, like, greebling approach to mosaics, where you just put, like... Oh, yeah a bunch of the same color um, pieces into the, into different areas and, and just let them create sort of a texture. So yeah, that's what we went with. We did this over the last couple of days. It was a fascinating experience and in much more difficult than you might think. I really thought it was going to be easy. Like, Oh, we'll just plop a bunch of orange things on there until you start looking for orange things. Um, <laughs> you know, in, in particular, the, um, Oh, thank you to everybody in the chat. Um, in particular, that light, that bright light blue on the bottom, you know, left sure. there was really difficult to uh, to come up with a bunch of various pieces because not a lot of pieces come in that. Um, but yeah. Gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. I've only just noticed the minifigures. I've been, I've stared really? at that quite a while. Yeah, they're the front up on the stream, yeah. but I can see the minifigures now and like, wow. Mini, mini figures, a treasure chest, there's a shark, there's, there's so the many ball, awesome man. things. A brick what, separator. Oh my yeah. God, see that one. Like, see, so, oh wow. And, and just, just to point out one thing, because anyone would think we planned this flu the night, if you look at the center piece, folks, it's the same piece that I'm using in the background tonight. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, well, we wanted to kind of, I don't know, we had this idea of like, I mean, like, I really loved how the, the Everyone is Awesome set was set up. And we really wanted to kind of put across this idea of like, everybody, like, heads together, like, laying on the ground, looking up at the sky, like, all you know, all together and enjoying all the, I don't know, that's kind of, that was kind of our jumping off point. Um, and then, you know, with the heart in the middle, I don't know, we just thought, we thought it was kind of a, a fun way to like express it. the, you know, unity of mankind. Well, what, just out of curiosity, how long will you keep that for? Uh, or, or have you already taken it apart and parted it? No, out? no, we just finished it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um but um we i mean i don't know it depends i mean it will it will stay together if you turn it up you know up so we could hang it on the wall i worry about about dusting it and also there's just some pieces in there that i like would want to use <laughs> but yeah. um uh, i don't know we'll probably leave it together for a little while i love it i love it yeah you, you should um i'd buy that from you like uh, subtle hint. Uh, I'd buy um, uh, Wanda uh, from you as well. I think that was an amazing mosaic. Uh, yeah, I think I'd buy that too, Flynn. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, you could buy. I could buy our Flynn, and then I can sell it to you for a profit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Flynn, dirty. Hear that? No way. <laughs> uh, it's cool. scalper. Uh, scalper. Oh, scalper. he can talk blimey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Prints of it. Take a really high resolution photo. Make some prints. I'll set you up with a fundraiser. Everyone can have one. Everyone. I'd have, I'd have some of that. I, I tell you what, folks, is I've got a, 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 I've got, I've got a little bit of wall space now, uh, and I'm going to start putting up a few pictures and stuff like that. Okay. I've got my Alex Ross, my one and only Alex Ross picture uh, that I'm going to be popping up on the wall at some point soon. Um, so I can't wait to get that out. 
and uh yeah stuff like this some lego art maybe something i tell you what i could do um i'm gonna, I'm gonna put down a great big tv screen down in the cabin and uh, i can have sort of artwork going on in the background some yeah. stuff like that you know there you go um, there's a good idea flynn delicious food says frame it and take it to billings Oh, I? yeah, I, yeah, we might. Well, we already have a plan for our bill and piece and it's going to take up a lot of space. But yeah, I really I think actually the Prince idea is really cool because that would, you know, it's meant as a photograph. So, yeah, I think it would it might work really well. Prince is also a great way if you have something and people love it that you can you can make multiples that sure you know, everybody can have it in the scarcity of those pieces yeah, not, I take your point. not everyone can get one of those for however much you would sell it for like exactly two thousand dollars and it's right. it accessible well now i want to make a puzzle out of it it would make an awesome puzzle i think oh yeah yeah <laughs> and then that's still a game it's so fun and but that's that's what you should call it as well the awesome puzzle yeah. play on the back <laughs> everyone's awesome yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. this thing Honestly, the thing is, folks, right? Um, we are all creators, uh, you know, in our in our own right. Whichever, however, we want to look at this, us on YouTube, right? We're all creators of sorts. Uh, we really are, and we all have these funny little outlets and stuff like that, um, that, that that we like to flex every now and again. And Flynn, I always see you, Richard, as being quite artistic but also with a certain flair sort of sort of a theatrical flair if you like <laughs> um, i like the way that you pull that in and stuff like that even tech he's pretty cool with some of his, his mock ideas and stuff like that and the way he he looks at things we was out the weekend and he could he just doesn't stop looking at buildings thinking oh i could make that out of this or that and stuff like that yeah you know it's, it's cool it's inspiring but don't tell him that folks well uh, as a true artist i do like to imagine uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna change my uh, avatar so it looks like uh, something like uh, tech why uh, would you want to display this you're gonna put off so many I'm gonna, why, why would i why would you display the pit i mean i mean bloody i'm gonna i'm gonna cow's head I yeah, it's the, best, it's the best you've ever looked. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind, but it's not even a ball. You could have put me on a ball. That would have been a bit more fitting, surely. No, um, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing more, uh, more important is if, if oh, I put hello. you on the other side of the body. Hello. Uh, oh, just, just so you know, oh, I can oh, do something real with that. Oh, look at that. Wow. What, a beautiful, what a beautiful object. Are you going to put them on Twitch? Nice well. We want Monkey Kid. We want Monkey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the, uh, from the new Monkey Kid type yeah. row. Yeah, that's where Monkey Kid types all his love letters in season um, and I don't know who it was. I think it might have been Craig, sir. Um, that, if that offer still stands, and you can get Steve to come on my stream. Don't forget to ask him. Thanks very much. He's very shy with live streams. but That was cool. I saw that in the earlier. Paul and flexing. What, oh, what a gift. Good flex. Guys. Oh, yeah. Good flex. Oh, man, he's, fle he's, he's flexing like some crazy flex hose. It's, it's, signed. Signed. it's signed as well, guys. It's signed. It's signed, it's signed. yes. Wow. So. Oh. so cool. Two good, two good uh, things came this week. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know, actually, another. I have three huge boxes of Lego in my front room from Fairy Bricks, which I'm going to have the honor of um, donating to the Oakland Children's Hospital here where we live. We're going to go drop that off from them. Um, and if you're not familiar with Fairy Bricks, you uh, they're a really fantastic organization, and they sent us some some really wonderful packages to to take to the hospital. So excited to to do that. We did a um, we did a kind of combined live stream for Fairy Bricks when their warehouse got broken into. Oh uh, right, Greg, you you had you had a, a live stream dedicated. To didn't you? And I think yeah. CC uh, Cafe Corner did as well. So, yeah, and they're really, really great organizations. So anyone, as Flynn was saying, anyone who hasn't heard of them, check them out. If you like, if you like donating to charities, why not check those guys out? They give yeah, um, they give check sets to to hospitals, children's hospitals, and they're, they're brilliant people. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, um, we we did it over here, Finn, because actually quite a while ago um, they they got broken into, and they I had remember that. Yeah. yeah. So we, we kind of clubbed together. It was um, Tech was part of that. Um, Brick Clicker was as well, and we just did some streams and raised some money for them, uh, and it was very cool. That's awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> um, Tech, do, what, what do you think of that picture I've sent you then? Why would you want to put my foot on your stream? <laughs> <laughs> Is it turning into that kind of stream now? <laughs> he's, taking weird, he's taking weird photos of my feet and he's got them in his little personal collection. Oh, really? I, 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 anyone would say, right? I, I just took it without him knowing, but he posed for it. That and, is not and, true. I that think the best true. thing, have you looked at your foot close up though? Because if no, you look at it close you up, though, no, have you? Have you? Well, you've looked at my <laughs> yeah, foot. Yeah, he's studied it. He's probably yeah, got yeah. it in a secret file somewhere. And no, just no, no, to no, just get slightly, thanks, Brick Stage Pass, for putting Fairy Bricks link into the chat. Yeah, yes. that's the link for that organization. So, moving on um, to um, Jarv, how are you getting on, Jarv? <laughs> 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 well, all I want to say is, right, is that. Uh, uh, is it Tech drew a picture of Sai O'Connor on his big toe? And I thought, well, there we go. So he knows which one I is now. Um, so I know what's gonna throw. that was on a live stream. No, 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 it wasn't on a live stream. It was an after a live stream. What? <laughs> after a live stream. Yeah. <laughs> do you think I would do that live on air side? No, I forgot. Oh, no, that is nothing compared to what you've done on a live stream before, Tech. Not, not on one that's still public. I tried to prove <laughs> this, this is true. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Sai, you come on, you take the helm. I'll take the helm. Um, in the private chat, we have a message from Onboard Toys saying, we need to get going, not because of feet. Not because of feet. Ah, oh, my, my favourite duo on the panel tonight. I think it is because of feet. It I could be. <laughs> and I wouldn't blame them. Duo with text feet. Oh. Well, let's pop you guys in the middle because you guys need to plug away. You're doing an amazing stream tomorrow. Um, slightly when I'm streaming. I built a whole roller coaster. <laughs> well, you, when you have you have the subject of the stream, that's going to be even funnier. But yeah. first, a little oh, demo. Yeah, do you want to see the roller coaster? Yeah, we want to see the roller coaster. All right, let me make it big. Can you see everything? Liz, Liz, More Liz, or less. Liz, 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 Liz. It does turn around. Oh, wait, where's, where's Liz? Liz? I don't know. Where Liz is. You are awful. Oh, you, awful. you said you had a spell. Spell. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't quite make it over this little hump at the end, but. It will, it will. Oh, so cool. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? So smooth. Wow. Oh, Grab that guy. Oh, there's a oh. little, uh, tough little connection right there. But um, I need to close, I need to work on that. I don't know how to get that 45 degree angle, but. Um, Can you we'll file it down? What's that? WD forty. Mm. Oh, hello. Yeah. No, hello. it's actually just, just off. toilet oh, down. So get, that, get that girl out and it's, put Liz in. It's actually Liz. because this is off to the left <laughs> by half <laughs> of the the horizontally by half the height of a plate. Let me That's the problem. Let me, let me, let me. But right. I can fix that later. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So Please. that's you fun. Think that, I like this. That is fun. Um. Okay. But in any case, back to our faces. All right, Kevin Governor, take that girl out and put Liz in. That's me. Doll. Go on, blimey. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. That is, is Liz. 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 Who, who is Van Dyke? And, the, uh... and Liz, Liz is a wonderful thing. <laughs> what can I say about Liz? What can I say what about can I say? Liz? Liz. Liz. Hey, if I could describe her in one word, Liz. <laughs> And just, just, just in, case you, in case you didn't, if you didn't know, that was me, Sai, doing an English accent. Wasn't I good? You yeah, was very uh, good, yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah. I, I thought you were pretending to be Jarv, who's pretending to be Greg. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am I well. I we and I come to see. Super stream. Uh, you, it's all you, buddy. Tomorrow, Saturday, we're having a Ladies of Lego Super Stream with a bunch of friends. We've got the Plastic Architect, Emma Soros. We got Bricks and Mortar, Brightest Witch Bricks. It's not okay. Hi, T Toys, Sarah Star yeah. Brick, Lego Danny Bob, Never heard of Cafe them. Corner. It's going to be glorious. And we've got Board Productions, the one and only, who does all of the tech stuff for us. So yeah. people and, with questions about 
Have so a that's, dream team. At, that's tomorrow. Brenda's hosting it. I'll just be watching her with side eye, making sure she doesn't touch anything. I'm going to make such a mess. Uh, and don't forget, Simone, gonna... Simone O'Connor will be there as well. She's awesome, I heard. Uh, nope, she's not invited. Oh, b- hello, boy. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I love you all. <laughs> Mommy, Simone. Oh, that is not true, Simone's guys. Don't worry. Go a bit. Don't Can I ask? That's at 3 p.m. Eastern time. That's our normal stream time, but um, I'm passing it off to Brenda yeah. because it's going to be fun. It's going to be glorious. And I also still have the Rainbow Lego Fig Pride Month fundraiser going on. Ooh, nice. So if you go to Art and Jest, I actually did a bunch of rainbow minifig prints and stickers on the subject of prints, and all of the profits are going to the Trevor Project and the Canadian Center for Gender and Sexual Diversity. And if you have a local queer loving organization that you support, you can just take a photo of your donation and I will mail you the stickers. Because that's awesome. Free stickers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we posted a new video not too long ago of us building a little Mario Kart track out of Lego. It was so because fun. Mario, they have this like actual car that you can drive around the house, it's but wicked. then you play it, it like a video game. It's crazy. And we're gonna build more of those. We took over amazing. the whole ground floor of my house making. So a those are track. all the things that you should watch us for. Done. Well, well you guys are, are pretty damn awesome, and. I can't wait to do that. Fact, well, the thing is, I've got to finish my stream to then come and watch your stream, which is why I'm very eager. Uh, I, I appreciate it. We'll, be, it we'll right. be there. We'll be stopping in tomorrow because uh, it's it's Greg's two year anniversary. <gasps> Happy anniversary. Oh, no, no, very talking. good. Yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm going to be sharing my two year anniversary with Brick Hive because Brick Hive and I practically started within the same week. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be good. I've got a couple of guests on. Solo's going to be there. Uh, building something, so he's going to be there looking after everyone, and uh, and uh, uh, Rick Hive's got a couple of guests on as well. But I will be basically telling people what, what when we're on and stuff like that to tune into your one as well uh, on board because we, we're all one big community at the end of the day, and this is what it's all about sharing the love, uh, which is what it's all about. It really, really is. Um, so good luck with that. Uh, good luck with all your vids. Love your vlogs, by the way. Um, Thanks, buddy. and yeah, I'm looking forward to um seeing you brenda doing the whole schaboodle oh. i'm looking forward to it's it. gonna be <laughs> such a disaster mess and kevin's gonna be stress sweating right over there like handling chap i know i can reach the drawers brenda, i've been all trying to pieces, leave for five minutes the pieces are all over there <laughs> i'm gonna be able to reach them he won't be able to God. stop me he's not fast enough look, <laughs> look at his blood pressure you can see it already <laughs> Ah. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, keep looking at pictures of flowers or something. What would Liz do? What would Liz do? What would Liz do? She'd it ride a roller coaster. Okay, awesome, bye, everybody. Bye, All right, take care. Bye. 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 bye, Chad. Oh, and that's Kevin, folks. The, one, the wonderful Kevin and Brenda. Uh, Tech, I've just sent you an enhanced picture uh, for you. I have. Uh, which I think you're quite fun, quite giggly. That 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 is a toe, by the way, in case you're wondering. Oh my god! <laughs> and and on that note, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, uh, I, I almost feel like I should send them to Flint just so he can sort of moderate them. Stop uh, sending my foot around the internet. <laughs> hey, social media, you gotta live it. Um, but there we go. So, um, solo, uh, what's what's um, blimey, hold on a minute. There's a there's a dog. What's going on? He's cute. Where's this cutie come from? <laughs> this is Lucky. Lucky, hello, Lucky. Lucky, <laughs> Lucky. Oh, hello, Lucky. He's um. What, what dog is he? What, what is he? He's very cute. She, she's a, um, she's a Lassa Apso cross with a Chihuahua. A Chihuahua. Wow. That's crazy. I wouldn't oh. know how to say that. And, and yeah. what, what? It's not, I'm like, the, the real name is a Chiapso, but oh. I call her a Lassa Wawa because I think it sounds better. Oh, that's hilarious. A Lassa Wawa. I like it. I'm very Japanese. Um, and what, 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 may I ask why she's called Lucky? Um, because when she was born, she was born dead. Oh my god! 
Oh, it's lucky. Yeah, <laughs> hence the name. <laughs> All right, no, no, good stuff, good stuff. Now, a little bird tells me, or should I say a big fat toe has told me, uh, that someone's got to get going. Um, oh, careful, careful. Okay, so Tech, what, what's going to be coming up from your channel? A any more abusive uh, videos about me? Or uh, <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll squeeze some of it in the vlog. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, so um, Monday will be Mockumentary, um, and that is on Kevin's channel, I believe. Uh, so you didn't plug that, but yeah, that'll be on Monday. Um, there'll be a vlog on Tuesday of when me and Greg met up again. Uh, we're going to do the vlog on my channel. Uh, we're going to premiere it, and then we'll go over to Greg's channel, and uh, we'll premiere the whole video um so that'll be good fun um and there will be another video and hopefully a live stream at some point next week as well but there is the other channel that i've launched this week the link is uh now on my uh tech production page you can scroll down to the featured channels you can find that there i posted uh, a video up there and hopefully get another one out in the next couple of brilliant brilliant okay mate uh, are you working tomorrow are you um is it because because um no not working tomorrow um not too not too busy at the moment but uh okay. but yeah yeah all right mate well, well look i'm only thinking because the weather's so good at the moment so i was oh. gonna say whatever you do wear sun cream everyone wear sun cream when the sun's out it's good for i am i am so people. red like i i i put quite a bit of sun cream on this week but the back of my calves are so red <laughs> like, oh, I'll be, I'll, you've got to look after yourself mate You're yeah right. no no I, i'll bathe in aloe vera and I'll, I'll come up a lovely color this time next week all right <laughs> well, look after yourself folks anyone who's out in the sun please do wear sun cream it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's essential these days all right oh, check. Stay, stay in that's what i do you just stay in <laughs> <laughs> it's just stay in. that's his hometown yeah, I swear to God. Or don't forget, guys, you, the, the sun is strong in the UK and Ireland, even if it's a bit cloudy. So just be careful. There's UV rays. It's not just the sun. Yeah. So put the yeah. cream on anyway. I, I, I completely agree, so si. Thank you. Um, all right, Tech. Well, look, Tech, look after yourself. I love you to bits. Okay. Um, be see good. ya. Love and, you uh, you. Bye bye. Yes, see, see, bye. See you later. See you, Tech. Okay, oh, yeah, we're down to six now, folks. Got a nice, healthy six. This is nice. Yeah. Um, it's all calm and collected now, um, so it's pretty cool. So, wh 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 where would we like to go next? Uh, let's have a look at the chat. See what's. Um, let's see if I've got any more photos. Oh, I haven't got any more pictures. Just people saying thank you for showing off their photographs. Um, so, solo brick builder, you uh, are going to one day do a city, and you're going to do your city designed in and around hidden side. Is that still mm. going to happen? Is that it's still, still going to happen? happen. I don't know when yet, but it is. I've got everything. Well, yeah, I say you got everything. Still, still uh, got things popping in my head whilst trying to uh, whilst trying to think of it as well. But yeah, it is something going to happen. But God knows when at the moment. Once I'm out of this bloody place, then uh, things will start happening. But for the time being, it's um, it's a dream for me. It's just a distant. What made dream. you pick that theme? Why? Because it was something a little bit different, you know. So I, I, I see people with modulars and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, fed incomes, it looks pretty cool. But hidden side's got some interesting things and some mm. spooky things as well, which I quite like. So, yeah, I mean, it's 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 going to be. It's not just solely going to be hidden size. It's going to be featured in some of my. It's going to. No, oh, what's the right word? So I've got obviously I've got a lot of Star Wars sets lying around. So I'm going to kind of integrate it like a mad scientist kind of thing gone wrong, so to speak. So. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I'm, I'm even got like a little story behind it because you know I've been told a good city needs a good story. Apparently, so a couple of people told me. So yeah, that's 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 what I'm putting towards. That's what I'm kind of aiming towards. So yeah, once once I've done with it, it's got my own room that I don't have to keep shrugging my missus off into a bedroom every goddamn night. And then uh, yeah, I'll be able to do it. But uh, for now, one, it's a dream. one of the things that I always look for in a city is something unique. And you look yeah. at every city, and they've just got. A, modules Every all lined up and um, you know to have a city like that i bet you'll get quite a lot of views just because it's different yeah i, I it wasn't really full of views i just I, I just love hidden sides and i just love the way the way the buildings were done and like the, the colors that, that that they were going with i mean i'll probably take out some of the the spooky spooky features out of them like the uh, like the school probably take out the like how it all opens up i probably just might leave that on that but i might actually make the school slightly ruined yeah, we got, got, got a few. Well, I mean, it's not, I, I can't take all the credit for it. I mean, I should, 
I mean, no one would know any different, would they? Let's face it. But my missus is the one that is kind of like the, the secondary brain behind it because, well, I've only got one hemisphere of brain, so she's the other brain power in the family. So, yeah, she's come up with quite a lot of the ideas. So, yeah, that's that's something that it was just something a little bit different, something a little bit interesting. And at the time, they were quite easy to get hold of. Thanks, for Lego, for cancelling the bloody theme. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love you. You can now. I, I was yeah. always a big Hidden Side fan. What, what, what about you, uh, Flint? Was you was you ever into Hidden Side? You're on mute, mate. You're on mute. Yeah, thank you. Um, I, yeah, I am a big fan of anything spooky. So I, you know, I was instantly drawn to it, and I also found it very. Um, I don't know. The like the lore was really deep. And it went to some really Lovecraftian places, which was a bit surprising for something that is uh, um, like for kids. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I really liked it. I really liked the concept of the changing buildings. Um, and I, I mean, I think there were some missteps with it, unfortunately, that that mm. caused it to kind of like go, you know, go away faster than it might have. Because, um, you know, you know, people always like spooky stuff. It's always very popular. Um, but it was, uh, I think the, I mean, I think we've talked about this before, but like just the box art was not up to, to snuff. Like you just couldn't, like you couldn't, it's not that the box art, like the art itself was bad, but as a piece of artwork that is supposed to sell a set to you, it was very confusing. You couldn't tell what was going on. Like you couldn't tell what you were getting. Like I, I have, you know, especially we're used to seeing, you know, a picture of the set on the front and then, you know, we don't have to turn it over to see what the whole thing looks like. And with that one, if you wanted to see what the model actually looked like, you had to turn the box around. Yeah. See, just see yeah. that. You see, I'll find that's the worst part is that they didn't even put the name on it on the front of it. Yeah, yeah. There was, there was nothing. I mean, the only thing you got was a bloody set number, and it was yeah. yeah. Well, and that's weird because that was only like the, in here in the in the US, we got the names on them. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the worst part about it. You guys got the names. We didn't. Didn't even get a parts count. I, I don't. I don't understand why we don't get that. Does anyone know why we don't get the parts count? It's not compulsory. Box? It's not compulsory. So. Well, I think it would cost more um, though to have reprinted boxes. I also thought yeah. they misstepped a little bit in the the um, especially in the first wave of sets. They all came with those same three minifigures. Yeah. So um, you know, and I understand like yes, they're the main characters and they have to like yeah. appear. But really, I mean, because I was so excited to get the ghost dog Spencer, who was amazing, and then like by my tenth ghost dog, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, love, I love some other variety of other things, but I did. I really appreciated the, um, the like the trans green, yellow green heads that a lot of the monsters came oh, with, yeah. and yeah. that great. Um, it came with a bunch of really crazy hair in that weird, even I, lighter green color that kind of looks like it should glow in the dark, but it actually doesn't. Um, but there was a lot of really good pieces that came in that. I en I enjoyed it. I'm kind of, and I feel like unfortunately they really, they really hit their stride in the third wave, and then it went away. Yeah. So like that castle of mystery was amazing. Uh, it was an amazing model, and um, the um, is it the not the school bus? The fire truck had one of the more. It was a it was a simple build, but the villain character in that had this like kind of looked like sl Slender Man, like this really tall, creepy monster that was made with like flexi tubes and a couple of other types of parts. And it was a really great, really creepy build. And it's just it's too bad that it kind of, you know, and I think also the pandemic kind of killed it a little bit in that like we didn't ever even got those sets here in the US, that third wave. Um, they didn't come out. They didn't come out here till way, way after the fact, and then they were already on their way out by the time we actually got them here. So they were immediately on sale, which was great for a lot of people. But some places, you know, you, you know, I don't know, out of sight, out of mind. Like people hadn't heard about it in so long that it was kind of they'd moved on to other stuff. Yeah. So curiously, then, because we we've had we've kind of had like a sub pirate theme that came out last year, then we had a. a uh, this year has been kind of like a, a sub castle thing that's come out. Do you think mm -hmm. that next year would be the kind of the turn 
of sort of more sort of horror, a sort of a yeah. sub horror thing to come out as well, or something like that. Well, do you reckon that's how kind of Lego will kind of work on? Because was there ever a theme before Hidden Side that was kind of ghosts and ghouls, and monster like fighters, monster fighters, the <laughs> greatest theme ever? We love it. We love it. Us we too. Yeah. Okay, so you two need to educate me on on that then because i don't really know anything much about it i like hearing flynn's voice so i'd like him to <laughs> <laughs> let's pop you two in the middle so monster fighters um i don't i actually don't know what year it came out because it was before we were collecting but it was like as soon as i saw that they had it i was like immediately um had to had to get a bunch i've got the haunted house and i think i've got most of the sets now at this point but it's all classic monsters you know your dracula uh wolfman there was a mummy um uh there's a lady vampire as well and um and then they were being kind of you know like the because there has to be a battle right there has to be some kind of tension right it can't just be the monsters so they were being sort of like tracked by these monster fighters who were very uh, vintage style. They had like very like kind of 20, 1920s style cars. It was all, it all had a very oldie timey feeling to it. Um, and just really uh, like the, the Lego Mo monster fighters haunted house is one of the more sought after sets. Like it's one of those white whale sets for a lot of people, a lot of sand green um, in that there was like a whole sand green car that was really cool. Um, and they did come out with a, so they came out with a series of buildings and then also a bunch of vehicles and all the vehicles were really cool. Like the, yeah. the vampire one, like the coffin, like pops out the, 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 the top of the car. It's really so great. The, the, um, that, one, that one was the, the, the hearse. So they had the hearse, but they also had like a, um, a, a, a it looked like a chariot. It wasn't, but there were no the dark horse skele skeletons as well. Yeah. Which oh, were yeah. amazing. So the, the the kind of story was Lord Vampire um was trying to collect all the moonstones. So they're these kind of little um they're strange like kind of um yeah like, like not jewels but jewels. So he he was trying to get them all to put into um his into the clock tower um and but where Monster Fighters was where it was built. They actually ended up over time building Newbury on top of it. So Hidden Side is directly built on top of the land uh, Monster Fighters is from. Seriously, and, I didn't know uh, this. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's that's. And there are my there mind are is blown. Little, yeah, I know. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. That yeah. makes me love it even more now. Yeah, no, everything is connected in the in behind the scenes with all the different stories in in it. Like it's. And there's Easter eggs and everything. Even with the haunted house, there's um, there are the, the haunted house, um, the eighteen plus haunted house. There are references to both in in that as well. So yeah, it, it's really in depth. As you were saying earlier, it's a really in depth kind of team with more in it as well. But um, and the the, the um. They're all there's a monster fighter section as well, a down downloadable content in um the Lego universe game as well. So what was, the, what was it? It was Lego. What was the other one? So oh, there's sorry. a um uh so Matthew Ashton, vice he's the vice pre senior vice president of design uh over at Lego, and he's also the creator of the Everyone is Awesome set. Um he created Unikitty, the, the character of Unikitty. Like, he's a really amazing guy. Um, but apparently, like, he is the one who pitched that to the higher ups at Lego back when this was before he, you know, he had his current title. And he said that um, they presented it, you know, in costume, like in monster costumes, presented it and then did like Michael Jackson's thriller dance routine afterwards. <laughs> and and that's how Monster Fighters was got made. <laughs> oh wow. That's a good story. It's pretty Isn't funny. It? You can just imagine, but like that that's an amazing way of selling what you're working on. Like it's out of the box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's really clever. I, 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 and now it makes me wonder, you know, like, did they come when they were pitching video? Did they, like, they come in and, you know, mascot costumes? <laughs> like, <laughs> Could you imagine? 
Really cool. So, well, have does this site? Have you got, or are you thinking of getting maybe the haunted house? Oh, that's definitely something getting the next few months. Definitely. It's good. It's a great model, but it is very fiddly. I will mm. say that. Like, I don't know. Do you ever use a, um, like a tight, a little mallet when you build? No. How? What? <laughs> yeah, what now? Nails. Yeah, a little, just a little <laughs> mallet. We like we had them on Lego Masters. We got addicted to them there. It's just like a little mm. rubber ended mallet, like a small thing. Yeah. But like if you're building really tall things, it's great to have them just to make sure that everything is fully engaged because um, it's really easy. And I actually learned this from a from a mock builder in our lug is, you know, it's really easy to have things not entirely engaged. And if you don't and you're building building tall, mm -hmm. things can start to get slightly off and you can end yeah. up you know and once you've gone too far it's very difficult to get it back but the tower drop ride for that is very fiddly and if everything is not just so and like just down so i would highly suggest um picking up a little mallet and when you're building that tower just you know give a little tap around um yeah. and it really really helps with the mechanics that's good advice thank you really good advice. Yeah. there you go there you go there you go <laughs> Could you imagine so I'll tell you what, that's a really good idea. I'm going to start using this because, you know, look at them towers there. Sometimes they just need a bit of a. Really? Yeah. The gaps do increase the height. You see, you're right there. Yep. Actually, I think there are some gaps in there that I've been afraid to put too much pressure on. Oh, I'll yeah. do it for you. I'll do it for you. There you go. That's it. That's what... actually worked. Yeah. Stop tickling it. Go on. I'm give it a whirl. The mallet. I've had, a, I've had a gap there for ages, and I've not been able to get it to compress, and it's gone now. Nice one. There you go. There you Thank go. You. Thank you, Flynn. Sure. Lego problems. Every day is a school day. <laughs> <laughs> the Lego DIY. Uh, um, what about what? So okay, so you've built some tall stuff before. Uh, Flynn, um, mm -hmm. what, what about you, Miss Bricks of Fun? You've done the Daily Bugle recently. Um, did you need anything like that for, for that, or did you find it kind of went together okay? I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking into that one. Um, oh. Yeah, no, um, I, I can get a bit heavy-handed every now and again, so um, that's going to come in handy, that is, definitely. Well, uh, but we go, well, I mean, Flynn, I think you've, you've, you've started something here. It's gonna be a <laughs> right. His wife upstairs is going to think the neighbours are up to something next yeah. door or something. You know. it's, it's brilliant, it's it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, uh, I mean, because we've certainly um, built stuff where we got to the top and we're like, how is this a half a plate off? Like, I know it shouldn't be a half a plate off. It doesn't make any sense. And then started realizing that, like, when you start really traveling down and looking, like, all it takes is a little bit, you know, because a lot of those have really, like, a really strong clutch. And when you push it down with just your fingers, it's easy not to, you know, get it down all the way. And especially if you're doing plates on plates, that's the really one of the best times to use it and to really get those plates because plates are easier to get <laughs> sort of little little gaps in them. That's bugged me for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of help. <laughs> oh, just out of interest, what, what were you doing with a mallet in your room in your room anyway? Is that is that just like <laughs> Is that well, just a tool that you always keep in your toolbox, so to speak? I'm, I'm a fabricator by trade, which, you know, I haven't done for 10 years, but I had the tools and they were all in my loft. And when you go and do DIY around the house, you come up the loft and I don't yeah. want to crawl to the other side. So I ended up putting them all just near the loft hatch. And I must have had a job where I had the mallet. I needed the mallet. So it was just over there. <laughs> I've got a mallet actually. Um, it, it's called, and the funny thing is, it's called Molyneux, as in Thor's hammer. Um, Mjolnir? Well, we, I call it Molyneux. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's tech when you want your tech? Oh, come on. Great, <laughs> all right, all right, come on then. Yeah, I can't, all right. There's more if you listen carefully. <laughs> all, right, is, all right, how would you say it? 
Uh, I just say Thor's hammer because I, I. Oh, Thor. <laughs> We're slagging right, you. Know me. All right. How would you say it's solo? You're you're a Thor fan. Millionaire. <laughs> I think I'm getting my words out tonight because of you, Flynn. Um, <laughs> Solo, how would you pronounce uh, it, Thor's it's hammer? Milne. It's Milne. It's Milne. It's not a minion. Not a minion, Milne. Milne. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're going to get me tongue twist. It's Milne. It's that is it. <laughs> Milne. <clears throat> We need to get Woodshop Teacher on. He'll know. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah no, he, it, it is Milne. It's, 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 it's even part of the Greek mythology. Uh, not Greek. Uh, not, uh, it uh, says Guardian. Yeah, yeah. Norris. Uh, no, no, he, no. The four, it falls based on based on uh, Greek. Uh, oh God, I keep want to say Greek. Um, Norris he's, mythology. He's Norris, he's yeah. the uh, he's the he's obviously in real, in real life he is the Garden of Thunder, but he's also the person who takes people. He judges people whether they go to Valhalla or not. Did you That's say in right. real life he's the God of Thunder? In 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 Viking <laughs> real life, in in the real mythology, <laughs> that is what it is. That is what it is. Viking real life. I say I love the hey, so The Vikings it's blinked right. it, so it must be real. You know, um, but there we go, thunder. Um, but yeah, there, there we go. Uh, so what, what about? Um, oh, Lee. No, sorry, Lee. Uh, I've just remembered you. Uh, you need to depart. I do, things. unfortunately, okay. yes. Oh, let's pop you in the middle then. Let's pop you in the middle, Flynn. I'm just popping you to one side just for a moment, mate. Just for a moment. Um, uh, Lee, Miss Bricks of Fun, thank you for debuting on London Calling number 72. Really appreciate it. I've oh, been it's great to, to be here eventually. <laughs> yeah, we, we, it's, it was a last minute thing, folks. Uh, Lee was able to make it on. So her people got in touch with my people and we made it happen. The contracts were signed in super fast time. It really was. And, uh, and, and she's here. But anyway, Lee, most importantly, tell us what's coming up from your channel in the next week or so. Or what's just maybe just dropped? Tell us. Um, well, today I dropped a a vlog it's just like a little insight to what i do when i'm not sat in front of the camera so um i'm out and about i'm doing a little bit of lego shopping um well it's a bit of everything really so it's sort of like a week in the life of lee okay. uh, and then i do need to there's a lot of work i need to do on the city like regarding mm -hmm. like safari parks and i need to find somewhere to place the three-in-one castle um but yeah that's that's what i've got going on at the moment <laughs> so okay. yeah vlog out today and then i'll be doing work on the city and hopefully by this time next week i'll have a city update out because i haven't okay. had one out for a couple of weeks no i know uh i look forward to those so good stuff all right lee well look thank you for joining us no uh, are you going to be streaming over the weekend don't you sometimes do a sunday stream uh sometimes yeah i'm hoping to do a sunday stream but i'm not carving it in stone just yet okay right that's so, right well, well then we will see will you be streaming on lego madness channel tomorrow lego he's doing a live stream he is uh, half six i think okay all right brilliant stuff right we've got loads of people streaming tomorrow but that, that's sad this for you folks you know a lot of people say any time they get to stream uh which is which is fair game as far as i'm concerned all right lee well look lee the party well. take care lovely to have you on yeah and, and you lovely to be you. here yeah take bye. care yeah bye. see you later bye. bye guys bye chat oh and that was the lovely lee now i now i need um a little bit of color coordination from uh, flynn um should, does this work if we're down here like this does it do we look too too similar? How are you doing? All right, we're doing good. Do you think Greg oh, looks a lot older than me? Oh, why does he keep saying that? That's not like I'm the host. Uh, don't worry, Java. You got you got the youth. Don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair game. Um, where, where's he gone? Uh, oh, any progress on these? Uh, no, no, oh no, he's back again. Oh, I was just having a look to see if there's any updates on your uh, your city dwellings over there, young sire. No, I just moved the kind of smaller ones down here. Probably with no light, so I just moved the smaller ones down here, um, oh. and I so there just sitting there, and there's Brainiac's skull chain, and I just put those down there because they're cool. They need to be there, and then down further are the um, just Star Wars vehicles, really. 
Um, and then on the other side are the usual things, the modulars and the minifigures. And on the top, some backlog and one of the new Marvel sets I just plunked up there. Yeah, oh, wow. because Greg's obviously having a coffee here. Uh, so, la, 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 la. Looks very good, mate. Looks very good. Um, when are we going to see some, uh, like, because I've, last time I saw you do one on the Lego hall, you had um, your Death Star uh, was, on the, was, was on, like, the, the, the worktop in the kitchen. Where is it now? Where will we find it? It's in the, do you want to look at it? Yeah, if you've got it. I mean, I've, I've actually never built my one yet. Uh, no great surprise there, folks. But I'm interested to know, how actually big is it? How big is it? It's, ooh, I think it's over 24. I think it's over 20. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. I think it's more than 20, 12 inches wide, I think. It's. Okay. It's quite a good thing. Um, Flynn, what's... Um, well, is that I know, I and mean, then you're probably not going to be able to show us it. But is the uh, is that the typewriter instructions you've got? Yes, but I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 I know, I know. But is it is it is it big? Is it like a large instruction? It's yes. It's got. I think maybe I can tell you that it has over two hundred and fifty pages. That's cool. That's cool. No, no, I don't want you to show us because. Uh, uh, I think we got the, the bad books of Lego. Uh, um, all right, let's have a, have a look at what size up to there. So yeah, that, oh, that's, nice. in, that's in the wardrobe. So, like, it's a wardrobe, as a wardrobe is, has doors, etc. So, in here, I had to put the Death Star because it's enormous. And I have all my minifigures over here. Can you see those? Yeah. And the video stuff. And then on top of the wardrobe lives all of this. But that's the top of the wardrobe. All the way across, like this. Are they still full? Pardon? They're not empty boxes. They still no, full. They're full they are full. fully sealed boxes. Yeah. Wow. And then down Need here, that's what I put all the little pieces into. Um. So that's basically inside the wardrobe. But yeah, that's the Death Star. It has to live here for now. One, it's very hard. Where am I going? It's very hard to dust it. So if it's in the wardrobe, it's mirrored. Don't forget, guys. That's why it's going backwards and forwards and left and right. See you later, Simon. So that, it has is, to... that is a big cupboard, mate. That... Yeah, it's huge. It was supposed to be bigger, but they didn't have the bigger one in stock. And my family gave me this uh, because sometimes I'm a bit crank cranky. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emoji cushion. It's kind of cool, man. Very nice. So that's it. Very nice. And you got a great lego collection going on there notice there's not many sort of pair there's not many shirts t-shirts trousers or anything like that in there it's just literally a closet for lego absolutely that's all you need that's brilliant mate nice one i'm liking it oh, camera off <laughs> very cool so flynn you you are pushing out a lot of content at the moment a lot of live content um what's uh, what's going to be coming up from uh, from your channel in the next uh, sort of week or so, my mate. Sure, we've got. Um, let's see. So Sunday we'll be doing a uh, uh, you know our regular Sunday group chat with Moto and a bunch of other folks, and we'll be doing a breakdown of episode two of season two of Lego Masters here in the U.S. So our Sunday shows for the next foreseeable future are going to be breakdowns of the episodes. Um, and it's just really fun because, we, of course, we're going to have Moto there. And uh, we'll be having some of the other folks on from um, uh, from the show. And then we've got a special guest. Bricks O'Brien uh, is on with us. And uh, Jamee, Bricks and Mortar, is also going to be with us on Sunday. Uh, then, I'm sorry. Oh, she's lovely. She is. She's really oh, yeah, lovely. yeah. So that's that's going to be fun. And then um, on Wednesday, we'll actually be doing a video review of the typewriter. Ah. So that's um, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. I think we're going to do because it's um, I was looking through the instructions. It's an extremely complicated build. Like there's a lot of technic, you know, as you can as you can imagine. So um, yeah, I'm going to be. We'll be do, probably doing like a, a time lapse video mm -hmm. of putting it together and then just sort of talk about it on the show um and then we today 
just launched our next build challenge, which um, coincidentally enough is a, a Liz seed part challenge. So the Liz micro doll is now available in a poly bag. And so we've gotten, you know, we've been telling everybody for like a month, we're like, go out, get the poly bag. And um, you have to use Liz as the seed part of your challenge. So she has to be in there somewhere. Um, so that'll be, that should be fun. And then um, if you just past things, I just want to plug a past, like this past Wednesday show, we actually interviewed um, Joel Baker, who is a concept designer at Lego. And it was really fascinating to sort of, cause you know, we've talked to a lot of brick designers who like build the models and stuff that we end up having, but he's, you know, his job comes at the very beginning by like concepting stuff. And, and it's his ideas that then the, that the builders turn into bricks. So it was really cool um, talking to him about what he does. So that was last week, which you can check out on our channel. Well, that's pretty cool. Man. That's, that's really, really cool. Um, I, I, do you know what? In this month's Blocks magazine, there's actually there's some concept art in there uh, from a designer as well. I can't remember the designer's name off the top of my head. Um, but it was really interesting to actually see uh, them actually sort of drawing out what they what will future be uh, a set. Uh, so yep. you kind of, I've always wondered why, you know, why they don't normally show that kind of side of it, you know, how a design comes to be. Because, and I was listening to Claire the other night on her live stream, the, the Plastic Architect. And uh, she just come up with a point, really, that I've never really thought about, which is, you know, Lego are constrained when they come up with a Lego set, whichever way you look at it, because, you know, th th there's maybe a limitation of how many parts they can do because, you know, there's there's a there's a cap to how much they want to sell it for and things like right. that. And, of course, when, one of the beauty, beauty of doing mocks is that you don't have that constraint so you can kind of let go and and fly with it and create your own mocks and things like that sure so and, and that was kind of like some i never really thought of it in that way before so i i'm definitely going to be looking later on in the year to do more mock stuff um i think what you do with your kind of designer ideas and stuff like that i think that's good fun it's a nice way of kind of immersing yourself in with the people uh, that subscribe to your channel as well. I think that's a really, really cool idea. But something that Solo used to do, that I used to really enjoy watching, uh, and and that was, are you mocking me? So is that ever going to come back potentially Solo? Um, it will be once a couple of people actually bloody answer me. Um, yeah, it will be coming back because uh, I, I want to do like a couple of special episodes on it, um, like get some really tal talented mock makers and um people that's never done mocks as well you know get them on there and um make them sweat for 15 to half an hour well for the <laughs> mock makers i'm gonna give them an hour because i've got some i've got some nice little tricks there are certain rules that I, I, i've got a full I, i've get i've written myself now full rules now to go put it put it this way it's gonna be something like lego masters but on steroids and a lot more bloody pressure <laughs> <laughs> what I, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be something quite wild solo oh no believe me it's um yeah because obviously i'm only get you, you only got the parts that you've been given in, in front of you so yeah believe me that there's there's some few tight restraints so yeah no it's um it, it, but ultimately it's all for laughs though isn't it at the end of the day it's all for laughs you're not going to win anything apart from well done you you've built a mock congratulations <laughs> <laughs> There's no, there's going to be no sponsorships at the end of my ones. Put it that way. <laughs> no, no, but it's a good, fun conceptual idea. I, I think you should continue on. But, uh, yeah, I will continue on, but I'm just waiting for a couple more people to get back to me. Once they do, then uh, yeah, just just keep an eye out for it. Basically, so will that be live stream or will it be recorded? Oh no, 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 no! That's where the added pressure is. It's live. Okay, cool. it's live. Yeah, I was, I was going to do a pre-recorded version of it, but. Yeah, I, I won't get the time to edit it down, you know, because that is about an hour long, yeah, you know, when mm. you think about it. So yeah, it's trying to trying to edit that kind of thing. Now nah, just do it live and then you get all the the fumbles and uh the missteps and some naughty language that probably some people would never say in their life. So um <laughs> I know somebody would 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 probably go on if there was no naughty language though. Oh no, 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 yeah. No, I mean obviously yeah, I, I, I try to keep it as PG as I possibly yeah. can. But I'd like to see Flynn do one. I think that would be quite fun. He, and he's good. He's good fun. I did one once, Flynn. Right, mm -hmm. uh, 
and I sort of, uh, I, I spoke for about half of the building time. <laughs> it, it uh, and then I come up with a brilliant, I, it was brilliant. It was fantastic. Everybody loved it, apart from the judge. Uh, and, uh, and <laughs> the audience gets the pick as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but no, it was good fun though. I really enjoyed it. That was actually probably the first mock anyone's ever seen me do. Um, but well, I liked a lot of people it. that I, went on there. I think that was the first time Tech ever done a mock as well. Really? If I remember rightly, the first time he'd done is in a car. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did, didn't he? Yeah, because he was coming back. So the idea was, I think it was a, a microfighter set, wasn't it? Solo. Yeah, it was a microfighter set. Yeah. Uh, and it was good. It was. It was good. It was the um, the Y wing with who was the what was the name of the figure that came with that one? Uh, Jury Bliss. Sorry, Bliss. That's the one. Yeah, it was a really really good set. So it was good fun to do. Now, now, Jar, all you seem to ever do are mocks. Uh, where do you get your ideas from? Um, I just think I, when I was younger, I used to read a lot of comics. So I just, um, it was always DC, it was always Batman. Uh, I play a lot of um, the old Batman Arkham films. Uh, and I, I'd swing around like in the new Spider Man game as well. And I'm just looking at the buildings and the way that the design is put on there. And I'm just thinking, I can make that out of Lego. Oh, I could use that piece for there. I could use this piece for here. And uh, like I've said to you before, you know, you living in London, so you've got loads of amazing architecture mm. around you. All you have to do is just raise your head out your phone and look up. You see people just walking around like this, but just look up at the top of the building. They're amazing. And you just, uh, I, t I take photos and videos of buildings and things like that when I go to Liverpool or Manchester. And then I just try and make it. Yeah, I, I do agree. I mean, London is full of fantastic architecture. I put some pictures up this week of the Shard, and it it's amazing because at, when the sun's coming up in the morning, it obviously comes up in the east, and there's a certain glow off the Shard if you hit it just right. And when it sets in the west, the sun, uh, it, it then it does exactly the same thing, but on the west side of the Shard, and it just looks amazing. Yeah, it bloody does, and it's sodden blinding. God, Ben, I wish someone oh, put so some low. What, what do you oh, like? oh, mate, I'm sitting in traffic and all because see this great big beacon coming out the top of it. Like, Christ. But you never get lost, though. <laughs> no, exactly. It's an impressive you building, don't get me wrong, but bleeding heck. <laughs> you always know what's on the south side, then, uh, from the north side. But then, you know, you've got beautiful buildings like St Paul's Cathedral. I mean, is it, Flynn, you, you might know this, but is it possible to actually create a dome, a large dome, out of Lego? Oh yeah, there's some, and there's multiple ways to do it too. I've seen I've seen lots of um, sort of like more low sphere type building on um, on domes, and I've also seen a very interesting kind of technically what I think you would call an illegal move. But you know how you can, uh, especially when you stack up um, one by two bricks and plates, and especially little. Um, one by one round bricks there's a certain amount of flexibility that you can get out of them like so i've seen people build these sort of large um sort of curved triangles out of stacks of one by two you know one by two plates and one by one round bricks and been able to kind of then put them all together and sort of like bend them into a oh, okay. into a dome shape yeah because cause that's the thing when you mock stuff as well you can kind of get away with certain techniques that lego wouldn't do because it's it's not part of their ethos so you know strength and stuff like that um, yeah it also really depends on how um like how exacting you want to be like for me i'm really bad about like gaps like if i can see a gap then it's not gonna do like you know like if i'm putting two angled plates next to each other and they don't you know completely touch and you can't see inside mm -hmm. i get really oddly caught up on stuff like that like i really want it to be perfect yeah yeah no, it's hard. They, 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 and that is a thing and i definitely want to get more into doing mocks and i will start with buildings because i'm th thinking that's a nice place to start and jav is always kind of giving me little digs about how i should start doing it and i will um i'm building assembly square tomorrow folks uh, oh nice start, yeah well it, it's I, it's gonna be my third modular building and i i put a thing in the, uh out in the community tab uh about a month ago just asking people what would what they would like me to build next and that was the next kind of big thing they wanted me to do so well um, you know i was to say you know i i think sometimes like um 
like kicking right off your mock building with a with a building um, is can seem very daunting and uh, and overwhelming for a lot of people. I mean, I just know, you know, they're like, oh, I really want to try this. But if I don't get it, you know, exactly right. Kind of like what I do. But I'll tell you the way that Richard and I started mock building was um, was with vignettes. And we would literally just pick a minifig out of our collection and do an eight by eight or um, maybe even a, you know, bigger than a little square and just like build a little scene for that minifigure. Like what's that story? And it really helps, I think, with your storytelling and your detail work mm. and your um, and just starting to learn pieces because you're not overwhelmed by like, oh, I have this whole, you know, I have this whole 32 by 32 base plate to fill and it doesn't seem much at first but then when you actually start laying down bricks and also like i don't know how big your collection is but a, a building takes a surprisingly large amount of bricks like way more than you would think mm. um so i mean just like as a, and as a way just not to feel overwhelmed um that's how i always suggest people who've never built mocks before to try because really yeah. like the a minifig tells you so much about it, right? Like just in that one little piece, like with an expression or a certain hairstyle or a certain, um, you know, outfit or whatever. So um, it's just a fun way, I think, to to tell a story and, and get some practice mock building in. Yeah. I, do you know what I've always wanted to do? And I think I might, I'm, I'm going to start. I don't, th I don't think anybody else does it. I'd like to do, vignettes a bit like the the habitats yeah uh, that's being featured but on lego youtubers yes i don't i'm pretty certain no one else has done it and and i sort of think well a lot of us have got our own sig figs for sure yeah and, and we can do their own little habitat and i you know i i that's what i want to do i can think of ideas that i can do for solo for Sai, for you maybe i could even get into doing some custom prints for them and, and and almost what I'd like to do, I'd like to do two, one for me and then send one to the person who I've done it of. Uh, I think that's a really great idea. And well, what's great, too, about that is you've already got it built in. Like you already know like what that looks like, like you already know what size backdrop looks like. And I think yeah. um, the the fun like I know Yano, who did our um our animation that we looked at when I was on a couple yeah. of weeks ago, her recreations of all of our, everybody on our show, like all of their backdrops and their little, you know, their, our studio and all that were absolutely yeah. amazing. And it was great to, that's a great challenge to yourself for micro building to just like, can I recreate this in a small form? Yeah. And um, I think that would be so fun. It's funny. You would say that I actually considered that I have some um, 3d print, youtubers that i really am big fans of and i was actually thinking the other day like how fun it would be to do a you know like a, a little little habitats of some of my favorite 3d printer youtubers oh, there you go, that's cool blimey so, someone's got a squeaky chair it's a door it is the worst door okay so like our apartment <laughs> was built in the 20s Sounds like a t-rex like, i know oh, it's 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 so we our house was built in the 20s and between our kitchen and our dining room there's one of those like swingy doors like you yeah. open it and it closes itself well it's so old that the spring is just like it it fights every time you open and close the door <laughs> so richard's office is over there on the other yeah. side of the door um in the in our little breakfast nook and so whenever it has to come in it's always just like yeah it's awful we've taken the entire door apart to try and fix it like oiled it everything nothing nothing wow. will fix it it won't stop squeaking uh, <laughs> it won't <laughs> i love it oh my god i thought it, it, it's like that beginning of uh, the thriller when they hear the door open in the footsteps <laughs> it is it is it's, it's the basically the creaky coffin yeah creaky. which you know which works <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's so cool. Uh, so yeah, I might. I, I, do you know what? I might follow up on that. I might sort of do it on a, on the quiet in the background. Uh, the, the, the that uh, YouTube YouTubers uh, threading. I think it'd be quite cool. And yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the idea because I, I admire so many people in our community. I really do. Uh, uh, welcome to you, Forest. It's London Bridge Bits. Uh, you might need quite a few specialist bricks for that. 
Yeah, but I've got a pretty decent collection, Graham. Uh, I last a couple of weeks ago, I went and saw uh, my best friend. He's um, and his son uh, of, of kind of not given up, shall we say? Um, they're kind of not as into their Lego as they used to be, and they gave me loads of sets, including friend sets and things like that. So, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of building up this library of, of Lego, uh, and it's going to be nice because then I can just have it to hold on to. I mean, uh, with tech, when we've been out and about together. Uh, we've been buying pad jugs and stuff like that. So, uh, or pad cups, sorry, I should say. I was doing everything not to say that, and I went and said it. I do apologise. Um, but yeah, you know, it's um, and and Jarv, you're always buying stuff from the pad wall, aren't you? Oh uh, yeah, I love it. The the value for money on the pad wall is amazing. Um, yeah. I, I just I just look at the uh, how much money I've saved off Bricklink and you know the online um, pad wall. And it just blows my mind. It just makes me want to buy more. Yeah, it does. It does me too. Uh, Nicoletta, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, my friend. Uh, it's been awesome having you here. It really has. Really appreciate it. Um, and Echo Bricks as well. Good to see you, Echo Bricks. Um, so, yeah. Um, what, now, just out of curiosity, because yeah, we're not winding down soon, folks. Um, Dove, what, do you know for any particular types of trees in your, um, in your city? Sorry, I just heard trees. Yeah, do you go for any particular style of trees in your city? Not really, no. That, that's just from the... Um, oh, that's um, the Harry Jago, Potter. Yeah, the Jago oh, uh, okay. City Gardens. Um, but I'm just making a, a tree out of it. But I haven't got that many trees roots in. on it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I've got a few trees. I've got the um, Birch Box tree. And I just yeah. put a little of the leaves on that. And I put that in the. Um, oh, just, it's easy just to show you. But I put that in the garden set that I made there, and then there's the uh, cherry blossom from the Chinese New Year last year. Um, oh, lovely! And I've got a few around Wayne Manor in the corner there. I don't know. Mock. That is your mock, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah, amazing. But no. I'm, I like these little things for foliage, the little bushes that you got with the police station. Yes, and the gearing that they use. And just for that. making a bush. Yeah. Making a bush out of it is great. And it just interlocks perfectly. Yeah, they, they really do. I tell you what, this is the thing as well. What I love about what we do with Lego stuff and things like that is the imagination that goes into it. Mm -hmm. It takes the gearing. Uh, you don't think, you think, how on earth can that look like a bush or something like that? But you kind of intertwine it. Yeah. And then you've got yourself a bush or some shrubbery or something like that. And it's it's like, yes, that is it. It's, it's brilliant. It really is, folks. And that's imagination. It really is. I know they, they don't always talk about the imagination being a key thing for, uh, for using Lego and stuff like that. But I also use it for quite a lot of problem solving and things like that. So I kind of find Lego useful uh, for all sorts of things. But I think where we at there in the... Uh, in the thing so yeah so i think on that note um we can start winding this down flinny you okay to stick with us for a couple more minutes while we wind down sure absolutely oh fantastic because i i, I want to make it I'm, I'm doing a six hour stream tomorrow folks and uh, i want to make sure i'm full of energy for it I really <laughs> do. So I'm, I'm conserving myself uh tonight so solo let's start with you mate uh what, what have you got coming up from your channel in the next sort of week or so or have you just dropped something uh, are you gonna be on a stream tomorrow i think you're gonna be on a certain stream tomorrow mate aren't you? yeah all being well for as long as i feel all right after my jab you know uh, other people react differently to this ruddy covid jab don't they some people find some people like like die knocked out for days um so hopefully yeah, i'm not yeah. that one hopefully i'm fine so <laughs> you should be right the first 24 hours you generally i think people are okay uh, it, yeah. it's thereafter it's between 24 and 48 i think things get a bit wobbly yeah uh well like i say we'll, we'll see how it goes but yeah hopefully i'll be over with uh you and brick hive tomorrow featuring some awesome 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 people as well um yeah. yeah i've got a new podcast that i've decided just to go well sod it let's have a crack at that one um it's only oh, a little cool. 15 minute one just to have a little 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 sneak peek into my life i suppose you might say um it's just just me sitting in front of the camera just talk, chit, chit, chitty chatting and then uh yeah back on with kobe and lego review so i've obviously done two already the speed champions ones or three of them 
brilliant. Check yeah. it out if you want to if you want to know about that one and the Kobe Le- um, Mouse Tank, which is just a ridiculous thing. And then uh, yeah, then uh, yeah, I've got the top Top Gun um, F15 Tomcat. That's going to be the next one, and the Batmobile is going to be the one. So I'm going to try and mm. do, do a nice. Nice, even kind of like, yeah, one like leg one Kobe. I'm a big fan of that Batmobile. I really am. Is that yeah. the 1966 one? Yeah, the 1966 one. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Um, I've I'll also obviously I've got the rest of the speed champions to do, but I, I've got to build them yet. I haven't yeah. built, I've got the twin twin pack ones yet to do. I haven't picked up the spit uh, the full GT one yet because, um, well, I haven't got down to Lego store yet to do it. I was going to go oh. down last weekend, but never got it. So, I, I, well, I never went. So, we decided to go to <laughs> Ikea instead and have meatballs instead. So why not? <laughs> oh, oh, well. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, anyway, uh, I know you love your speed champions. So that's good stuff. Um, be interested in what's your podcast. Well, have you got a name for your podcast? Um, yeah, Bricking Mad. Bricking Mad. Okay, I'm liking that. That's, um, that's uh, a good name. Uh, for your, for your <laughs> It really is. Um, <laughs> where where can we see it? Are you are you on iTunes, uh, Spotify, all that sort of it, stuff? Well, th- this one's just solely going to be on my YouTube page. Um, okay. But I'm hoping the next one um, I will upload to iTunes and Spotify. I'm going to put the next one on. All right, dude. No, that's fair enough. That's fair game. Uh, where should we go next then? Jar, have you got anything coming up from your channel in the next week or so? Uh, sorry, I just knocked my train off it exploded into bits oh, oh, yeah. oh the worst no. i'll never get that to look the same again um, <laughs> that's the problem with mocks isn't it you never get them to look the same um i've just put a video on this morning which was um, just an update of all the various things i've been doing over the last few weeks uh, that went on this morning and um this week i'm just going to be working on my little uh there was uh ninjago city garden so i'm just going to be working on that okay oh that looks so beautiful so yeah i love it well that window very nice um and then um hopefully i want to get that done by friday and then i will do a video on that very cool all right very nice i'm liking that uh mr sio connor lovely sio connor now you're kind of in recovery phase uh, of your uh, of your jab, uh, you, you're going to be dropping any vids anytime soon. I have a lot of days to catch up on, and the algorithm is probably going to kick my ass. But um, I'll be making videos tomorrow and Sunday, and throw one or two. I'll try and put one out tomorrow or Sunday. Um, I got some cool new things that I want to show everybody, but I'm not going to say what they are here. Um, yeah, they are, they're, they're pretty cool. They're awesome. Um, so you'll have to wait and see what they are. Um, they're not conventional Lego, but they're Lego. Oh, okay. Very cool. I'm liking that. Jigsaw, something like that, is it? Oh, even better. Like, you're going to be like, oh, I want one of those. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's exciting stuff. I like it. Good good stuff. I like that. Raise a bit of tension. Exactly. And then, obviously, on Wednesday, the backlog that didn't air this week will be on my channel with Greg. Mm-hmm. and then the usual live stream on thursday we'll be back and on thursday we've got some really cool guests and uh, watch out for the artwork and that on instagram twitter and obviously on the community tab on youtube brilliant stuff. nice one uh flynn did you want to uh, work on i know you've been telling us what you've been up to i'm yep. curious lego masters season two you're mm-hmm. gonna you do like a a, a a kind of overview of of that show yeah, so we do a recap of the episode that was just on. You know, we we considered doing it the next day because, you know, it shows here on Tuesdays and then we have our show on Wednesdays. And there's just so many people, including us, who aren't able to watch it, like, when it airs. Yeah. And we figured we'd, like, just, like, give people a, a good, like, four or five days and then... Yeah, we do a breakdown. We keep we try to keep it mostly spoiler free, but then at the end, like our we've only done one so far, but we kind of just talked a little bit about the builds, and then at the end, we were like, okay, we're gonna discuss the winning build now. So if you don't want to, you know, know anything about it, like now's the time yeah. um, to go. But um, yeah, so that's what those that's our Sunday shows for the next couple months. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So tune in for that, folks. Please do. Um, coming up from me. Well, next week, of course, next Wednesday, I'm going to be on with Cy. Uh, Thursday, I'm going to be on with Cy. Friday, back with London calling number 
73, which is pretty cool. Um, tomorrow, though, folks, tomorrow, folks, a big one for me. It's my second year anniversary that I always celebrate with Hive. Thank you, chaps. Uh, and I'm going to be building, or at least I'm going to be making a good start on uh, Assembly Square. I'll probably be building it on Wednesday, in all honesty, Si, on the backlog, finishing it off there. But I'm going to make a start in the morning on it. Uh, I've got some jobs I need to do in the morning, so I'll give it a go on that. Uh, and then that'll be it. So I'll be kicking off at 3 p.m. UK time, and we'll be running for six hours. Three hours on my channel, three hours on Hive's channel. We'll be joined by Coconut Brick Studios, Ninja with the Bricks, uh, Solo Brick Builder, and Cy O'Connor. But anyway, thank you for the panel uh, for being on tonight. Thank you as well for everybody else who was on earlier on, uh, including Tech and the lovely Lee, who made her debut. That was really nice, wasn't it? It was kind of impromptu. Wasn't expecting that at all. Um, <laughs> But it's just a case of she said she messaged me about two about an hour and a half before we started. She says, Can I come on? I was like, Yeah, okay, you fancy it. Come on, more the merrier. Um, but thank you, Sai. Thank you, Flynn. Thank you, Solo. Uh, thank you, uh, Jar, for coming back on again. Uh, be nice to see you. It really has. Thank uh, you, and course. thank you, all you lovely people out there as well, including Lego Madness, Lorraine Fox, of course, uh, and get no leg on earlier on. But the great big sticker on his head as well, which was pretty cool. <laughs> we had a Scooby-Doo, what it was. Uh, we had Brick Stage Pass in the house as well, as well as Ricky T.Y., Captain Zane, Shy Time is my time, Redman and Chris 3 in 1. And thanks as well to Tech Productions. And also as well, folks, please do check out Tech Productions. He's had some cool videos come out this week, some of which is to my expense. And uh, he's going to be on the podcast, talking to podcast, for uh cali brick click as well so do check out that folks he's a good guy he really is uh he's a he's a wonderful chap to have in the community with us and we're all very lucky so on that note folks be kind to each other be kind to yourselves keep your hands clean keep wearing those masks and lego and lego is a wonderful thing and you know what each and every one of you lovely lot are too take care everybody have a wonderful weekend uh i will see you and all this lovely panel will see you all very very soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.